moment. Um, he had to uh, uh, carefully juggle stuff around. He's he's got some family obligations. He needs to Apparently make sure he handles. Progress. Yeah, I Is wonder that? why that happened. Yeah. Apparently, oh, this yeah. is being recorded, Susan. Yeah. So yes. What did you say. All that stuff that we said before, we better. Good thing it's not being recorded. <laughs> exactly. That's that's why everyone's quiet. The plot to save the, <laughs> the world. Yeah, I got a I got a new shirt with the uh, Stephen Hawking thing on it. Does anybody want to see it? Yeah, the thing? Stephen Hawking thing. thing. What thing? Well, it's, yeah, I'd be happy uh, to see it. It's the special. Oh shoot! I have to take off. Yeah. No, don't take it. off the shirt. <laughs> no, god, it's no. being recorded. Remember that, Vince. No, God, no. Vincent, you take off Vincent, the background. We're going to see your reality now. Where does Vincent really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. In from? Uh, How do I take that off? Choose. Well, you can finally see where I live. Right. Video filter out, out the window. Yeah. <laughs> you can. You can switch. It, it's the not blizzard. the filter. It's the background. Video filter. Oh, it's virtual the background. 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 Okay. Then go to none. And then go to none. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's my play. There it is. That's, yeah. There's nothing wrong with your background. Why do you find it all the time? It's a lovely little house. Oh, okay, uh, what that, does it say? That has nothing to do with Hawking. What is it? Okay. And the ability to adapt to change. Stephen that, Hawking. That, that has that. nothing to do with Hawking. <sighs> yes, it has oh, no. on it. Well, it has his name on it, so... I don't know. Gee, you mean someone mis um, attributed a quote to someone famous? I think it's clever. That's never happened before. I think it's well, it, it, it's not like it says Mark Twain. <laughs> it's just yeah. Abraham Lincoln. Yes. <laughs> well, that yeah, that is essentially where I live. This is my place. That's uh, nice. That's a pretty good background. Oh, like if you step out, I might take a picture of that user's mine. <laughs> <laughs> What's on the plate? All right. Here we go. No, you're still in it. You're still in it. You're still in it. A little more. Over. <laughs> we okay. go. All right. I got it. Thank you. He's going to put a picture of himself sitting in the chair. <laughs> That's good. Looks like a comfy chair. It does look like a comfy chair. Deborah's on her way. Uh, so I won't yeah, it's so electronic. It's one of those electronic. Uh, you push the button on the side and it reclines. Oh, nice! Ooh. Electronic recliner. Yeah. Does it, does it rise up and throw you out? Uh no. <laughs> don't I'm getting to the point that I want one of those. <laughs> I don't have enough money for those. Those are around two thousand dollars. It's like, yeah, I don't have that kind of money. I wouldn't need something like that. So. You will. <laughs> <laughs> You're no, so I'll optimistic, probably, Peggy. Sorry. I'll, I'll probably be dead by then, but. Wow, just not, just older, not yeah. not jaded. Yeah. How's that background? Yeah, oh, that's looks lovely. Like you're on Mars. Very nice. I I I took that photo from a ferry. We were taking the ferry back to the mainland. Gorgeous. Uh, Vancouver. Where's Kevin? Too? Uh, from Vancouver, yeah, from Vancouver Island. Hi, Kevin. What round have I got tonight? Hi, Kevin. Uh, Hi. You, you are four. Okay, good. My computer's going to give me a hard time at 10 o'clock again. Romero's trying to get in twice. I might have to get in with my cell phone a little bit. So, so Vincent, I see you moved, but I'm in your room now. So. Oh, okay. Oh, look at <laughs> <There we go. laughs> your, your head's in the chair. Yeah. What's, huh? what's for dinner there, Rob, on your plate? <laughs> Spaghetti meatballs, of course. You just ate them all up, yum. It was, uh, what did I have today? Uh, fish. Ew, I hate fish sticks. Fish sticks. Fish. Yeah, fish. I like fish sticks. Susan, do you hate uh, like shellfish too? Or do you oh, eat yeah. shrimp? You don't oh, eat no. shrimp? No, no, no. Nothing that's been in the sea. Clams, I thought if a cow had walked across the river or the lake I would, or the sea, I would. Oh, if it just ended up with a little salt water, something. you wouldn't just eat The it? whole thought of it is, ew. Wow. Breaded fish from uh, the Bull River today. It's pretty tasty. See, the other Calgarians, they would get it. Is that <laughs> a word? Cal Calgarians? <laughs> Not Calgarites? 
No, Calgary. No, that's that's Calgary is a mineral. Carl, why do you it's have like, a picture of Richard not, not necessarily uh, uh, dining behind you? Uh, it's like gecko Looking bite. Through the various background photos. I have. Oh, with the prison? There you go. Um, well, Vincent, I know that pe uh, uh, quite a few, few people do do the fly fishing in the Bow River. and uh, Yes. Uh, I, 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 I guess occasionally they can... Uh, Keep, they can keep what they catch. That's they can limited. keep it, but I uh, would need it. I got a question. Oh, I got a... <laughs> that's an old background I had. I, I got a question for everybody. Up in Canada, we're hearing all this stuff about the airports being a real mess. Is that happening down in the States too? Yeah. yeah. The papers are saying it, so, but disaster. I've not seen it. And I've been flying. So it depends on what you mean delays. by airports being a mess. The airports oh, uh, are fine. The yeah. lots of lots of flights are being canceled. Thousands sometimes a day. Yeah. And lines are long. And lines and are long, so, and so, frustrations are high. Some of the companies are losing is, your luggage. Present. Some of the companies um, are moving their office staff mine. to go and check bags. I just heard that on the news about a half hour ago. What? They're, yeah, they're hiring the people who have office jobs in the corporate headquarters to go to the airports to check bags. Ooh. Well, good. <clears throat> They should be doing stuff like that. Yeah, because you know, fortunately, that job doesn't require any training at all. Yeah, right. that can. doesn't. Yeah, that that doesn't the, how many like bags we'll, are going to get lost now? <laughs> yeah, lots of them. Bags on the wrong ones and all. Going to very exotic places. I think it'll be fun. There's Deborah. Hi, Deborah. She managed to get in eventually. Oh, oh you remember Deborah. what happened to Paula's cat? She flew from uh, Oh yeah to Manhattan and clearly labeled jfk on the on the carrier and it went to uh houston or something dallas yep the cat wanted to go to houston it's trying yeah, to get away i don't think so <laughs> i want to go to i want to go to texas yeah okay so i'm about ready to, let's let's i'm gonna start in these um rooms now even though we're still as long as we're talking talking airlines and luggage i thought i'd show this again oh yeah i thought that was cute we should wear that for the airport. I wonder if we'll get. Uh, <laughs> uh, how will how will we'll see? Your luggage is over. How many light How many light years away is that? Uh, that that would be more than a hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, more than fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. The diameter is a hundred thousand light so years. So probably you're not going to get it back in the next week or so. Yeah. Or probably it didn't actually wind up there. <laughs> a trillion light years. <laughs> well, not no. that big. No. Yeah. Leonard no. just gave uh, a number. Tens of thousands, anyway. Fifty thousand, Leonard. Yeah, well, tens of thousands. It, that that distance is probably about fifty. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, not going to get your luggage back if that's where it went. Yeah, yeah it does doesn't look good. No. Yeah. <laughs> so who's who's doing uh, categories tonight, Susan? Um, it's Terry, Deborah, Peggy, Kevin, and you have bonus. I'm hoping I'm on Benjamin's team. I don't know. Just hoping. Ben, that. he's not here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's right there. Right there. Benjamin. Ben? Well, he's he doesn't have his he's video a, or audio on. He's a, he's oh, I created the. I guess I created the um, the rooms before. Once you hit the create rooms, it doesn't. Um, oh, well, put him in my. <laughs> I have, they have not fixed that. Can you put him in my team. I, I just joined, so that's why. There's I'm Ben. Susan. Yes. Oh. Hello. Hello. With so if Peck's if friends, we're so. if we're on Ben's team, do we get Spock? So, the, yep. so, the, so this friends. one is definitely for Ben. Yeah, that's for Ben. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to start go. that. Who's uh, who's doing rounds tonight again? I came in right Ooh, as one. Terry, um, Rob, uh, Peggy, Deborah, and um, Kevin. Rob. Cool. And Rob. <laughs> okay.
Hi, doggy. Don't you want this? This is delicious. Okay. I learned something today, Susan. One thing? Okay. Yeah, recording is in progress. That's oh, what I learned. Just let me know. So yeah. what, what happens if you don't click on got it with the report with the recording? <clears throat> Does it have to be unanimous? Yeah, I suppose. No, so. you get banished <laughs> to uh, someplace. You just sit there. You're done. If you'll you block, don't you'll... click on it, you see the warning all the time. That's right. Yeah. yeah that's and you can't right. do anything. I'm thinking it's going to bounce you from the meeting because you're a meeting where it's being it, yeah, recorded. I think it bounces you. I'm not going to, you're saying I don't want to be recorded. I don't know how else that would work. Let's let's test it. Somebody do that. Next. <laughs> <laughs> and then Susan has a set so you can't come back in no matter what. <laughs> like poor Brandy had. Got what me. an Aww. excellent idea, Rob. Are you volunteering? <laughs> no, no. I saw him do it. He put his hand up. Does uh, anybody know about Facebook? I had somebody. Yeah, it's something. I've never, I've never heard of it. The Facebook. <laughs> Meta. It's more. Um, somebody friended me. Somebody added themselves as my friend on Facebook. Is no. that possible? No. No. Friend them real fast. No. They can follow you. If they, you yeah, they can follow you. They can request that you accept their friend request, but they cannot they add themselves as your friend. The only thing uh, that they could, uh, they could do is if you have a friend already, they can change their name and you might not recognize them. Oh, that's yeah, that happens sometimes. Sneaky. That somebody, happens. Somebody did that to me and then they were like, hi, how are you? And it's like, who are you? Yeah, it's like, a spam. Right. Almost always it's spam. Yeah, yeah and be careful if you get if you get a friend request and you're thinking, I thought I'm already a friend of that person. They've been hacked. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I, oh, they bad. they've been hacked or cloned or right something Not bad. Or, yeah. yeah, sneaky, yeah. aren't they? By the yeah. way, my uh, my uh, my child says hello. Oh, hello, Avi. Hello. In fact, hello. I just, well, I just messaged him. He's in Switzerland at the moment. Oh, so. Wow. Oh. I just messaged him, so that'll I, be nice. So he's neutral? He's neutral. You know what's funny? He's, he's, except, he's, except been, in the he's been neutered. He's been neutered. <laughs> I have a feeling that what's going on with these, um, whenever they try to reach out to you like that, isn't a lot of it either, I think it's trying to sell you cryptocurrency? I think trying, to, they, trying to do well, something. The last time it was trying to, can you help me with something? Yeah. Help Usually me. money. Yeah. yeah. Well, like it always yeah. Gets Maybe you're related to a Nigerian prince and they got millions yeah. of dollars for you. It's just amazing. Speaking, oh, speaking of yeah. spam, lately, uh, it's been happening a few times over the past like week. I'm getting text messages that just say, hi. Mm -hmm. And they expect me to oh, respond. Usually I, it's like, yeah. oh, are you interested in selling your property at whatever? And I'm like, uh, I don't own that property. Leave me alone. I hey, yeah, just I'm just getting them. messages that just say hi, like I'm going to respond to that. I don't know. Well, the you, do. you know, when you get a when you get a call, by the way, on the phone, if once in a while you get those calls, then oh wait, oh can you can you hear me? Yeah, you, don't say well, yes. You never. Just, say I don't like, even answer the phone. Oh yeah. Stop because answering they, the phone. Well, yeah, but you sometimes yeah, you're answer. not thinking. You pick it up, and uh, can you hear me? And you go, oh yeah. You don't want to do that because they record the yes as a, as an affirmative for yeah. some scams so you got to be real careful oh my God. yeah i don't answer my phone unless it's someone who's already in my contact list yeah they can leave a message they leave a message and i'll choose whether to call them back or not well i know i don't worry because i don't have any friends so i'm not worried about anybody <laughs> calling so nobody's gonna <laughs> call me who what are we chop chop no, sirloin here no but you're not calling me oh i'm not gonna call you yeah I'll use he, has, he hasn't given us his phone number so we that's right. true right Otherwise, I'd call it two in the hey, Why don't you put it out here right now? That's uh, right. I like, I like your new look, Terry. That look cute. That look cute. All right. So we're about ready to start. Let's find out what our team names are because let's get to it. Get get it to it. Okay. So we have on team number one, led by Terry, who I'm just going to leave in charge of the thing today. She's also got the first category. So we've got Terry, Bob, Ben, and Vincent. What's your team name tonight? Nobody here but us chickens. <laughs> really? Are Bob and Janine on the same team? Is that the, did I hear that? Is that it? Mark, huh? are you gonna play? Are you gonna play? Okay, we're just choosing team names. 
Okay, <laughs> next up we have Deborah, Carl, and Larry. And Carl has the is going to have a category tonight. No, I'm not. <laughs> what? You are mistaken. Am I? I don't have a category. Deborah has a Deborah has it. There tonight. you go. <laughs> I was thinking I had let the wrong person. Carl, Carl, Carl it's, Deborah. It's, it's they like, all sound the same. I mean, it's like Deborah. I get Carl, I, I Carl and Deborah to do one. The but... time. <laughs> they always oh, no, double. Crispy chicken wings. Oh my yeah. God, what is it with the chicken? <laughs> That's what I'm making tonight for supper. I told, now before this started, in fact, yesterday, I told Mark how many people, I bet there's going to be at least one team name today based on whatever it was that i told him so let me see if it happens it hasn't yet so jamie janine peggy and alan we are we're done with herding dogs herding dogs herding okay. dogs i'm glad you stopped herding dogs that's not herding a good thing <laughs> when when did you stop herding dogs we're, we're done getting herding dogs and janine and i both have herding dogs so oh oh we're done with herding we were talking I'm, about dogs i get it now we didn't oh, talk about current that's events. Awful. we didn't go down the current event thing we just were chatting about black 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 dog 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 i thought we were room four uh, i think we're three you're room we? three you're three. Okay. That's fine. Let me add Faith over here. Okay, and Karen, I'm going to put Karen over here with um, uh, crispy chicken wings. Oh, good, because we only had three people. Yeah. Hey, we only have three people. Hey, 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 just calm down. More people are showing up. <laughs> calm down. Okay, Jim, <laughs> Kevin, and Wendy. And the person who has a category tonight is Kevin. And by the way, I say three people because Faith doesn't count because she's just of Romero now. <laughs> I didn't well see done. her. That's well hilarious. Done. Oh, that has to be the Halloween costume for this year, every woman. For every Halloween yeah. costume. We're going to be, as, hey, going to get to a point that where it's not Halloween costume. We're going to wear it normally. So for Halloween, she could dress up as a woman with rights. <laughs> I think, well, said it isn't, but I think I'm the only one here that can is of childbearing years still. So yeah, but doesn't mean we don't care. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so I will be the only one who will wear them. Will be my auntie Lydia's. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for the um, Jim, Kevin, and Wendy to say what their team name is. Uh, Oh, ketchup. <laughs> no, oh, that's okay. Good. So put it, just ketchup. Put it in the put it in the chat so I know what it, how you want. Ketchup or ketchup? C H. That's an awful off the wall no, name. Put a K. Oh, uh, ketchup. Uh, ketchup. Uh, no, it's a very on the wall name. Oh, there you go. So it's just that. Well, it was it was on the wall, but they cleaned it up. So this is what I told Mark that the cat that somebody was going to name something something is going to deal with some food on the wall. Oh, okay. Uh, that would uh, be the, the team name tonight. So that's the closest so far. Leonard, Faith, Romero, and Rob. So we we went dark. Apparently, the Constitution is a suicide pact. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. I can hear Mark washing dishes. Okay, so here we are. Tonight, which is, what day is today? The last day of June of 2022. Oh my gosh. Tomorrow's we've lost, payday. We've lost, we've lost a whole six months to who knows what. What a crazy time we're living in right now. It's been interesting. It's so nice to be able to share that with my friends here on Zoom. So thank you for coming along with me in this journey. So I, I was screaming to, out the team name and, and I, I had it on mute. Oh. <laughs> The team name is, if you haven't been paying attention to the January 6th events, it's time you should catch up. Oh, Ooh, I, um... I did the short version. Yeah, oh, let's we'll put it in the chat and I'll change it. Right. Hurry it up. I, I can't right now because I'm on my cell phone. My computer's rebooting. Well, somebody will have to put it in the It doesn't oh. matter. Either way. Okay, fine. so we have nobody here but us chickens versus crispy chicken wings versus we're done with herding dogs. Make sure you watch how it's spelled. And versus ketchup, 
versus apparently the Constitution is a suicide pact. So here we are in game 113, season three, episode four. Oh man, how the time has gone. Um, hey, a bunch what, of people. What's Hi, Carrie. On chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. So let's Ketchup. get started. We're going to start off with Terry and then we're going to move on from there to Deborah and then Peggy and then Kevin and then Robert. In that order. How about that? So let's see. Terry, what do you got for us this week? I got mystery theme trivia. Okay. Ooh, is it going to be about mysteries? Are you? <laughs> so. Guess the theme from the first nine, uh, from the answers of the first nine questions. Okay, okay. shall I mute? Shall I mute yeah, everyone? Mute everybody. Is there is there a second nine? <laughs> Back nine. All right. Okay. So the first question is number one. This is an interdisciplinary scientific theory and branch of mathematics focused on underlying patterns and deterministic laws of dynamical systems that are highly sensitive to initial conditions that were once thought to have completely random states of disorder and irregularities. Okay, it's, it's a theory. Question two. This is an action adventure game developed by Remedy Entertainment and published by 505 Games in 2019. This game is inspired by paranormal stories about the fictional SCP Foundation created by an online collaborative fiction project based on the genre of the new weird. Okay, question three. This is a song by the American rock band Toto. It appeared on the Hydra album in 1979. The song was written as a tribute to George Lucas's film THX 1138, and the music video resembles a scene in the movie. Question four. William Henry Blank was a sculptor uh, architectural sculptor and monumental mason from Oxford, England, who migrated to New Zealand in 1910. He is best nor known for his series of First World War, War Memorials, where annual and back day services are held, and his contributions to iconic public buildings in New York, New Zealand, and England. Number five. Blank State Park is a, is a public recreation area located on Samish Bay on the western side of Chuckanut Mountain, six miles south of the city of Bellingham, Washington. It was created in 1915 as Washington's first state park. Number six, this American character actor played Dr. Adam Bricker, Doc, on The Love Boat from 1977 to 1986. Number seven. This is a 2018 horror film written and directed by Adam R. Stigert, or Stigert which fe features a werewolf, stars Melody Rohrig, Thelma Mapes, and Melantha Blackthorn. Number eight. This is the atomic number of radon. It is also a state route in California with its southern end near Calexico and its northern end in Indio. Serbia. <laughs> okay, number nine. This is a British television crime drama series that aired on ITV from April 20th, 1990 until June 16th, 1995. The series followed the work of the fictitious Eastland Constabula Constabulary. 
And number 10, what do all these answers have in common? That's it. That one's easy. I don't know any of them. <laughs> That's what they have in common. And we got another lighthouse. But you will, Rob. You'll get it. And then number 10, you will know what they have in Remember, common. Remember, find the theme and Psychic it'll Susan. really help. We'll see. Okay. So send us terms, Terry. Okay. Uh, I got breakout rooms. Yep. And now what do I do? Open all rooms. Oh, open all rooms. There you go. Just like I psychically sent it to you. Okay. Do you see it? Um, I don't, but that's, that's normal. So let me sign Karen. Okay. She's going to two. And Kevin, you're going to go to... Oh, so I can go from room to room. You sure can. I see how I can You're do supposed it to, but okay. stay out of your own room as much as possible because that's what we're recording. So you, okay, you know, so you can go back and listen to it anytime. I, I hope it's not too hard. <laughs> I hope it is hard. We've been getting some easy ones. Everybody reads them. They go, oh, it's too hard. And they dumb it down, dumb it down, dumb it down. I still don't know the answers, but. <laughs> well. The Somebody theme, will. Everybody the else theme, always does. The theme will really help you. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going. Oh, probably. Okay. Chaos. Oh, hey. See, hi, yep. team. We're, we're surmising that the theme might be Get Smart. The TV show. Because Chaos was the, we, the, the villain what? organization, right? Wow. Yeah. yeah. And, and Bernie Capel. Um, played uh, Siegfried. Okay. Before he was on Love Boat. Well, so, then there's then it's easier if it's if that's get smart. Then one of the answers is ninety nine. Yeah, that might. Oh, be that's the probably right. radon then. Oh, the radon atomic number radon. Right yeah. So what else is probably... from Get Smart? Let's see. Okay. Uh, I wish Mark was here because he's I'm sure trying to things. figure oh, out. Um. Uh, who was uh, Barbara Feldon? What was her number? 86? Or Max was 86. She was 99. I'll put Mark here. Yeah, could it have been? Because we got to make sure, because there's multiple numbers. We got to make sure yeah. that it's indeed 99 and not one of the others. Yeah. We brought it. I'm bringing in the expert here, you guys. We got Mark. Song, Yay. The, the total hey. song. Isn't there, yeah, isn't there a song 99? 99. Yeah. Isn't that 99 balloons? Okay, so Mark, no, it's no, a mystery no, no, now. No, 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 there's a Toto song. It, it's a song, I think it sounds like Toto, but it's. Mark, can you see the screen that uh, Ben has up there with all the questions on it? Oh, that's what they are. Yeah. Oh, yes. So what we think is it's a mystery round. And what we think the mystery is these are all related to Get Smart. Oh, yeah. because so, number one, we're pretty sure the answer to that is chaos theory. And then the actor who played Doc in the Love Boat is also in the show Get Smart, right, Bob? Is that where you made that? He connection? played Bernie, he played Siegfried. Okay. But then so we Mark, need to find out what the atomic that... number of radon is. Wait, I why are we doing the bonus round now? This isn't the bonus round. It's a, just a mystery round. round. It's a mystery oh. round. We have to figure out, yeah. I got okay. the first the, the theme, first nine questions comprise a theme and then the tenth question is what is the theme so it helps if you think of things that would have been in get smart like so 99 the 90 99 is the name of the toto song how sure are you on that bob and then we think that the other number i wish i knew i wish that that's it i'm getting a damn periodic table and i'm like taping Memorizing. it to the side of my computer or something yeah but there's a there's a a california the route the california route is what 99 that could be a number so maxwell smart is actually is any of these answers could they be maxwell smart who was the actor who played maxwell smart do you think that you think the number four is is uh the sculptor is wh maxwell Oh, well, that yeah, would make that sense with Maxwell. Mark. Okay, Mark. unless we find, 
You guys sound frantic. Take it easy for a second. I'm just having my bowl of cereal. He's having his cereal. I Don want to Adams. figure out. Don Adams is was Maxwell Smart. Right. Yeah. Okay. Or so unless Adams. it was Adams. Can we like take a Maxwell or Adams? W. H. Adams. I don't know. William Henry Maxwell Please. or William Henry Adams. Does either of those names ring a bell to people? Not the Adams name. I don't know. I... It might be Maxwell. It might be Maxwell. And then we need a state park. So state Adams park. State Park. Is there an Adams State Park? Uh, no idea. In Washington. Um, well, you would know, two... wouldn't you, Ben? Why? Oh, not Ben. No, never mind. I was thinking of Jeff. Jeff's in Washington. Here comes Robin. I'm going to put her. I put her. Werewolf. Werewolf movie 2018. Robin. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which werewolf movie that is. I got to see that. Okay, so what else was on the Get Smart show? Uh, a shoe, a, a, sh a phone shoe. Um, shoe phone. Who was some of the other? Was there another number character that was the? Yeah. Who was the guy? Barbara Feldon's character. No, she was ninety nine. Feldon's character was ninety nine. Was Max eighty six? Yes. So we need one of those numbers is going to be the number. atomic number of radon. We just don't know which one. Well, 86. Yeah. Who was the guy who was always showing up inside of like the shoe shining box or the mailbox or. Um, yeah, he was. a. Uh, yeah, he went by a number two. And we also and have. Also, um, we have British television so crime drama series that aired on ITV from 1990 to 95. Well, also, uh, that was would be, it? Oh, it was a crime series or a spy series? It says crime drama series. Mm. Followed the work of the fictitious Eastland Constabulary. Constabulary. That's a fun word to say. Say that mm. three times fast, Susan. Eastland Constabulary. That sounds Constabulary. Constabulary. Uh, I'm getting there. The police force is what. All right. Oh, I don't know what that horror film is. It features a werewolf. What? I what? Look up those actors. Can someone read the question to me, or I'm gonna? I have to go get my glasses so I can. Yeah, read sure. Them. Which one? I mean, I can increase font size too. But this 2018 the... horror film, written and directed by Adam Steigert, which features a werewolf, stars Melody Ro Rorig, Theo Mafes and Melantha Blackthorn. God, those names. I don't recognize any of those people. Yeah. No. Could it be American Werewolf in London? No. What was that? That was way older. Yeah. That yeah. was way back in the 80s. Well, which one? There was a sequel. On. But I don't, I think even the sequel was uh, older than 2018. Okay, there's well, where, American Werewolf in London, then American Werewolf in Paris, okay. right? Control. Is any of these answers could they have control? And what was her that name might again? be a good answer potentially for number nine? British television crime drama called Control. I've never heard of it. I have no mm -hmm. idea. I'm just trying okay. to find what something else would that be from the other. There's this. There's this action game. Action adventure game developed by Remedy Entertainment, and published uh, by 505 Games. Yeah, in 2019, the game is inspired by paranormal stories about the fictional SCP Foundation, created by an online collaborative fiction project based on the genre of the new weird. I don't. I don't know. The guy who played the chief. What was his name? Um. Ed, Ed, Ed Platt, Ed Platt. P-L-A-T-T? -T? I think so. We got the theme, Terry. You think? On the first question, too. Mm -hmm. and I didn't have anything to do with it. I just walked in, they had it. Well, we had two. You, you, anytime you get two of the answers, then it makes it easier. Kevin's it was the combination of question one with the, with the actor, Doc. At least we think. Unless, we could unless totally we're off. way off. No, I think so. Help, though. Kevin. It's not helping with anything else. No. <laughs> okay, so so the chief was he just called the chief, or did he have a name? No, I, he always, I mean, he might have a name, but he always referred to him as chief. 
Yeah, yeah it's cheap. Yeah. And his last Edward, name is Ed Platt. P L A T T. Right. We need to come up with. Could there be a Platt State Park? Yeah, maybe. Okay. What else from? What else is from Get Smart that would be obvious that she would have used for a clue? I haven't watched Get Smart in ages, so let me think. No, um, who are the main characters? It was Get Smart himself. Mm -hmm. There Maxwell was Smart. 99. Yeah. The there was Jaime. He was the robot. There was a robot? Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah, it was. Um, Don't you remember? You knocked me out, Jaime. Yeah. Okay, um, could one of these answers be Jaime? Yeah, we need to come up with a state park. We need to try oh, the and... The actor was named... Uh, what was the actor's name? He had like a French... Dick, like a French name, something. Uh, hmm. An action-adventure game called Jaime? How about William Henry, Henry Platt? Well, we're trying to figure out where we'd put. Oh, oh, I see. William Harry Platt. Is that a name? Is that a real a name? Or you... I think so. I've never would, heard of him. Mark, where would Maxwell fit in? You think? Maxwell State Park. I don't know if that'd be a good name for a state park, but who knows? I could be wrong. Uh, I'm looking. Let me see. Yeah, look at Come on, me. Susan. You're you're the closest to Washington, to Washington. You need to know Mark's, sitting in the, Mark's sitting in the other room. He's closer, actually. Can we? <laughs> By a few rooms. Um, I've never heard of Samish Bay or Chuckanut Mountain or Bellingham. Yeah, it's it's useless information. Um, as if you were yeah. like you. You, you knew all the Washington state parks, but you got them confused. And then that information, oh, that one, yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That not being that. the case. Um, Let's see. Um, How's everybody doing, Terry? Ask, ask Mark if, um, if uh, Matt, uh, Smart's, um, was his number 86 or what? That was Max's number. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, 86. So we got an 86 and 99. We just have to. Or how sure are you on the on the Toto song being 99? Because then would that make Radon 86? Because we clearly need a number for number eight. Yeah, I think 99 is the is the Toto song. All right. I can kind of hear for, it in my head. Right, which is different from the 99 Left Balloons. Yeah, no, this is this sounds like a Toto song. Okay. Hey, what's the significance of tomorrow, by the way? Anybody tomorrow? Know? Yeah. July 1st? Payday. Yeah. What? Payday. Yeah. Uh, think All right. Okay. Oh, we have to go to a doctor's appointment, and we have to put flea medication on our cats. It's Canada Day tomorrow. We get a day off. Oh, well, I'm retired every day. Yeah. <laughs> we need well, we're have a crap store, but we're having good social. So all That's right. Something. We if we're changing what William Henry is, then we might want to reuse the word Maxwell somewhere else. Yeah, I don't you can think Maxwell put, is the name of the action game. Maybe Maxwell is yeah, just put Maxwell in for every answer you don't know. Mac, you could one. Maxwell State Park be a thing? Might be. Could be Platt State Park. I have no idea. Um, I like William Henry Platt. What? I kind of like William Henry Platt. Platt over William Henry Maxwell. And put yeah. Maxwell it's, it's, for it's that. Not, it, it rings truer to me. I don't know why. Right. I could be totally wrong. Which one? Four. William Henry Platt. Yeah, okay. Mark agrees with me. So how about nine for Four. Maxwell? Could there be a TV show called Maxwell? Something Maxwell or control because control is a big thing and get smart too. Yeah, I don't that, know what that else would be control. Agency, yeah, that was their age. Unless control is the name of the horror film. Um, 
the Maxwell Diaries. Is that a thing? No. No. So you think eight might be 86? Yeah. I mean, if we're yeah. thinking that the song is 99, then yeah, the, okay, yeah, so, we if we're sure on that number, that's probably the atomic number. Does anyone have a periodic table handy that they can look at in their in their? Can it be anywhere in check. your house, or does it have I'll to be within like tattoo. eyesight? No, within your room, your tattoo. Lame. Um, I'm just gonna print out a damn periodic table and put it on my desk or on the side of my computer because it's come up so dang. That much. would be cheating. Why? Because no. it would be you purposely put it there. No, no. it's not like it just happened Carl, to find a. He, he has Carl has a periodic table too. shower curtain in his bathroom. Right, but he can't well, get up to go. Look maybe at there it. was a maybe there was a number sixty six. No, I don't remember. Sixty six. Yeah. The guy that was always he was always inside garbage cans and. <laughs> Yeah. He was always getting injured. Now, um, now you said sixty-six. That makes me think. No, I, I, I think I remember hearing the number more. sixty-six more than eighty-six. Eighty-six would make. No, Max was eighty-six is so. definitely Maxwell Smart. It was okay. Then oh, I yeah. would think that that number probably pay, plays more significance to her answers than anything else. Okay, so we need yeah. a couple more nouns. We've so got control. We got, We've control got is going to be one of these. Does control make more sense as the British television crime drama or? The werewolf movie. The, the werewolf movie or the name of a state control state park doesn't sound right. We but didn't the, we didn't use did we use chaos yet? Yeah, chaos theory. Number we one. probably never scrolled up oh. uh Mark because we came up with that pretty quick. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I I answered that like right after the question was all right. Read. And number so, six yeah, that's that's chaos so theory that's and the answer to number six is what made uh Bob say, Oh, it's probably a get smart themed. So I'm wondering either the game is called Control or... How about Cone of Silence? They haven't used that anymore. Yeah. Or oh, the they did have a Cone game. of Silence, huh? Yeah. Or the television show. What makes the most sense for the word Control? Control, I would think, has got to be in here somewhere. What do you guys think? Yeah. I don't think I'm it would just be the, the name game. Control. It'd be something maybe the Control. Game. Like Video a... game, maybe. Well... I just want to get more of these answers. Oh, do we want to say Maxwell State Park? Does, does that, do we think that could be yeah. Platt. Name oh, yeah, after Maxwell, someone? that's right. We're going to go W.H. Platt and Maxwell State, Maxwell okay. State Park. <laughs> I doubt Maxwell is the name of a game or the name of a TV show. Control sounds more like either a video game name or a TV show. I'm thinking controlled... Uh, Control. It would help if we had one more thing from from uh, Maxwell Smart from the show that we could. Right, I know. And again, I used to watch it, but character. it's been so many years. Give me a name of another character that was prominent. Was there a secretary? There was a telephone booth that they always he got in at the beginning, mm -hmm. and the telephone mm -hmm. booth went up. It was a pretty tight crew. Who else? Um, two cops in a robo no. we need we still need the the horror film and we need i mean i guess that name of the movie could also be that too but i don't know see what uh control yeah but a werewolf doesn't necessarily control anything no it doesn't but we don't know anything well, else about the movie other than it who's in it and that it contains a werewolf so it could be about some lab that where they had people and then they escaped or something who knows about the werewolf it might be more psychological and maintaining control and stuff like that because you have to do it work. how's everybody doing terry it's all over the board i mean basically carl got it but well, everyone duh. else is Everyone else is struggling a lot. So, do you think that I, most people have the theme? It's hard. Most people have the theme, but the questions are harder than I thought they were going to be. Good. <laughs> no, bad, Susan. No, bad. I want them to be difficult. I want my answer. Tired of them being too easy. But if you if you know the characters in the theme, it seems like it'd be. Yeah, that's, that's what yeah, we're doing. We're just guessing with with what we think is the theme yeah, but there's, we're missing there's, one character or one there's five thing. characters 
Okay, so we, we're, we're missing one thing from Get Smart because we have how many questions to answer? We need an answer for two. We need an answer for seven. I know this is what? based upon whether any of these other answers okay, are correct. Okay, so we have two things that are blank. And what word have we not used? I think we need to concentrate more on character names and make so sure. So wh which one, don't we have one, we're trying to figure out which one to fit them in? Because the other one could be like, nine could be since it's about uh, constabulary, you know, it's a crime drama series that would fit something for Chief because he always called him Chief, but I don't know. What the was name the, of the show could be Chief something, and yet, you know, we don't know the full. What title. was the woman 99's uh, actress's name? Barbara Feldman. Okay, because yeah, could one of these you have an answer, Feldman or Barbara? Barbara, yeah. Could there be a horror film that has a werewolf in it that has the name Barbara in it? I doubt it. Or. Maybe. Uh, Feldman or a TV time drama that's Feldman Chronicles or Barbara Chronicles or or an action adventure game called the Feldman Games. No, honey, you're, Games. you're way off. Well, I'm saying this is the way of going about it since we have no idea, but to, to come up with what has to be an answer. <clears throat> Just put Maxwell in wherever you don't have an answer. So could 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 a atom, atomic number of radon be sixty six? Maybe. Oh wait, we it doesn't 66 end. Sixty six over eighty six. It doesn't end, end in India though. It goes all the way across the United States. See, we're guessing eighty six for that. I'm wondering if. Oh, you're thinking nine, this is the I'm wondering if nine has is more the chief connection because it's a crime drama. So AK it's got like police of some kind and it's called Eastland Constabulary. So, chief, you know, a chief constable. inspector or something. Yeah, chief inspector or something like that. Could it be chief inspector Morse? I'd I say guess. we move control to me. Control sounds like it could be a possible answer for number two. Control this video okay. game. Mark, could the crime drama series that was that was from 1990 to uh, 95 be either that had the fictitious Eastland cons, con, constant whatever constabulary? Could it, be, could it be Chief Inspector? Could it be? In, well, that was just called Morse, or it was also called uh, what was the one that came after it? It was called um, no, the it, the one that came after was called uh, Tom Thompson. Thompson, no. no. Thomas. It, was the, it was the guy who was his second in command, which was. Um, I would say I would just put in Morse there. But it, that doesn't make any sense. Why? Because How Morse does doesn't have anything to do with. With uh, you guys, you guys about but if that's the name of a show, almost the chief part. No, does. there isn't a chief we're, inspector Morse. It's just called Morse. We're done for. Does that help? What is. Who is Morse's? Um, we watched the whole series. His name I is. Don't, I don't think it's. I don't think we're on the right track. But it's Do a British think chief. Chief is part of drama. the answer to nine, though. Lewis, that, that was it. Is there a Lewis on Get Smart? No. Chief may be the only connection that Nine has. The name of the TV show could be Chief something, and because there's a character called Chief in Get Smart, that could be the connection. Yeah, I understand that, but I, but the television t crime drama series that ran from 90 to 95 right. sounds like the right time for something Lewis. Called, it was okay, called Lewis, L -E -W -I -S. Yeah, called Lewis. Is there a Lewis Ooh. in is there a Lewis in Get Smart? No, okay. not that I'm aware. So, um, Adams might be in there somewhere. It's late in the game, but Adams is, a, a, you know, John Adams. It's something might be named after him. So, oh, we didn't use Adams anymore. No, we well, again, didn't. it's it's based upon whether we're whether we have character names or actor names in these answers. Could be a mess. If we're, got one if we're trying to throw name. everything in there. We're going to be 
How about Adams well, State Park? I could be. Yeah, but I mean, but but I think that's legitimate because you've got you've got an actor. One of the number six is an actor. Yeah, sure. I just want to make sure we're not double and triple guessing yeah. ourselves because well, we're trying to fit saying, all these answers in. Proposing it, does this sound better yeah. for a oh, name? We got a minute. Know? Because I would agree. Who was it? You, Susan, that mentioned no. it. Adam State Park sounds more accurate than Maxwell State Park. Would you guys agree? Yeah. Uh, you guys want to change that? To yeah. Adam put State Maxwell Park? as Adam. put Maxwell under nine because that does sort of sound like a. It and could be some sort of crime drama. Yeah. And then under seven, put um, can chief. Yeah. they're all bad choices you guys are just know, less bad are. than others yeah. anyone we got 20 seconds i i never watched get smart so oh you gotta watch it it's hilarious no. yeah my, At least my watch wife the, has, the pilot episode my wife has two seasons on dvd and we watched them a couple years ago so. okay bye bye team That's good job bit. there was like a couple of questions uh Boy, this really, questions. really helped to have the theme name. Kyle, yeah, Kyle had really had a couple of questions like this once before. If I remember oh, okay. Before. I must have missed it. All right. Well, after, after about a bazillion games, we're you know bound to repeat some. Hi, Robin. But, but it was, but it was not a lot of them. It was only a couple of them. Yeah. So it's not. Okay. Not, not Is everybody ready? Yeah. Okay. Number. Uh, what did I just do? We don't know. Well, I, 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 yeah. Okay. So number one, I think most people got this one was the answer is chaos theory. Number two is control. Really? Uh, yes, uh, control? Good. Uh, that's, not, that. that's not one of the ones we put down, did it? No, we didn't. We went back and forth where we put control. Yeah. That was the original one and we talked ourselves out of it. I don't I don't know what we had. Did we put that no, for that, control? I we moved it two? towards the end. Oh. Yes. Oh. So no, okay. we moved it correctly. Oh good. Okay. Yeah, we had it at a lower, lower number. Or, number three yeah. is ninety-nine. Yes. Okay. Number thank four. you, Bob. Number four is this sculptor guy, pretty obscure, I know, is Felden. So that's for, yeah. Oh, Barbara Felden. Felden. Barbara Felden. Barbara Felden. Barbara Felden. Spell that? I told you. Yep. Mm, be we should put her somewhere. We, we yeah. thought it was this, Buck. I thought, oh. this one, <laughs> I thought this one would be a little bit, well, whatever. It's Larrabee State Park. Mm. Oh, Larrabee, yes. Yep. Larrabee, <laughs> who's Larrabee? He's the, act, oh, he's the character of the actor in uh, number uh, the uh, even, think, even right? with the answer, I don't get it. <laughs> well, that's the character's name. Yeah. They, in number yeah. six. We named that there. mountain so many things, you guys. We <laughs> named it everything. Six is Bernie Coppell, name of the actor who played the yeah, bad guy. Siegfried. Yeah, Siegfried, yes. Okay, now number seven is Fang, also the name of the dog. Yeah. Oh man, oh, nobody came man. up with a dog. Yay. Yeah. So yes. Number eight is Agent 86. Yay. Now we know radon. We'll always remember that. That's yes. right. Number number I'll always nine. remember the atomic number for radon. It's chief. Number nine is the chief. Uh, Did we put that? Did we put we that? We had it and then we changed it. And number 10 is Get smart, and then I, I added the rest of it, an American comedy television series parodying the secret agent genre that had become wildly popular mm. in the first half of the 1960s mm. with the release of the James Bond films. It premiered on September 18th, 1965 on NBC. It was created by Mel Brooks and Buck Henry. Well, well, Robin, uh, please mute yourself. Please, please, please mute yourself, it. Robin. Uh, was Larry okay. uh, the robot? No, no, Larry, that was Heine. Uh, Larry was the Larry was the office worker, the guy. Yeah, in, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. The was robot the guy was he was Heidi. always hiding or something. No, Heidi. Was... Heidi. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Yeah. The, the, no, the, no, the, no, the, no, the, the number. 
Well, the I guy, got it. It's, uh, we got it. I, yeah, I, I, I'm trying to remember who was the guy who was always inside the mailboxes or something. And the, tr and the tree and yeah. Yeah, yeah that's why he was. Why I, oh, I'm confused about how the theme would help you. What What's the theme? Get smart. Get smart. TV show Get Smart. The TV, the, the TV right. series. Oh, it's a TV series. Okay, that. She yeah. wouldn't have done that. Yeah. We, got, so, so, we, got the, we got the theme, but we got two other answers. Yeah, me too. Us too. Us too. I mean, it's oh, like. We did quite well, but we, we didn't couldn't really come help. up with two. We couldn't come up with the, um, the uh, number four really we helped. thought was Buck Henry. So we used Buck. Oh, we kept, we kept, we had the right answers. We just didn't know what mountain. <laughs> and we put self control. We Adams, so we Leonard, guessing. you're exactly right. I was more optimistic. Putting up How did we get the theme and not get well, the we, theme? we had the, we had all the right answers. We had all the right answers. We just didn't because have the chaos questions. is so obvious. Chaos we had all, we had as soon as I read the number one and it was chaos, I knew that was going to be a theme because we were going to go for something yeah, you know, popular. Chaos, and, then, and then Leonard pegged it by knowing eighty-six was the atomic number, and that's well, we had all answers. we we had all the answers. We just didn't have the questions to go with them. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, we yeah, put them in the wrong right. place. We kept moving them around back Us and forth. Too. Okay, so let's do yeah. scores. Yay, so, Terry! I think Terry. that was fun, Terry, and I liked that it was difficult. Now Thank get you. your butt back here. Thank okay, you, so Terry. I'm going to start with the bottom one. Apparently, the Constitution is a suicide pact. Three. That's three. Woo. Okay, catch up. We got nine. eight. No, we I got eight. We, got nine. we didn't get number two. We had self control, and we didn't get number four. We had Buck Henry, and it was Felvin. Oh, okay, because I do, I wrote down control and I thought that was enough. Yeah, but we changed it to self-control because we, we thought it couldn't be that simple. <laughs> but okay, control. we're done with we're done with hurting dogs. The hurting dog group. Three. Ooh. Crispy chicken wings. Uh ten. We hate you. What? We hate you. Uh, uh, I, I love Carl chickens. tonight. I love Carl. <laughs> yeah, Carl told you, Leonard. I told you, Leonard. Uh, uh, although Carl Terry, a... I think Terry had two. Can we report our score? Yes, no. thank you. Uh, six, please. Thank you. Six, ten, three, eight, and three. You're all over the. So your average score is six. That's that's good, Terry. Actually, yeah. six or seven. Very good. Okay, so left yeah. one answer alone, we would have had one more. Very good. Okay, we move moving on to Deborah right. is going to uh, take over the helm. Mute, mute, mute. Just tell us the category so we can bone or groan about it. Okay, the, ca the category is sayings. Say what? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Sayings and expressions, different things like that. Yeah. Okay. So let's see here. Who's muting people? Who is muting? Terry's muting people, right? She can. Possibly. Possibly. So I'll unmute yourself, Deborah. She is. Un okay. Okay. So the, and the first three and a couple of other or a couple other ones are going to be multiple choice, and some of them are just not, are not multiple choice. So one, the saying "come a cropper." Originally meant what? So I'm going to put it in there. Hang on. Um, sorry. Uh -huh. Just realize when you when you move your thing over, you don't get the chat thing disappears. Yeah, it, yeah. These little known things that people don't know. <laughs> and I'm trying to do this on the laptop. So, okay. So, and here are the here are the options. Come a cropper. Uh -huh. So either to shorten something like hair or fabric or clothes. Um, that's a b a bad fall off of a horse. Uh, C a crop failure, or D, to make up a group of things or people. Okay. And number two, the phrase- we, 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 don't, we don't see the options. Oh, you don't see the options? Oh, hang on, let me, there, sorry. There you go. I thought I'd done that, sorry. Um, number two, 
The phrase independent as a hog on ice was originally used in, I'm gonna put those in there. Independent, boy, I'm gonna have to bring these phrases back. <laughs> well, that's as independent as a hog on ice. Doesn't that sound good? Yeah. So either, um, it's either uh, from a sport, wait, how did, oh, oh, never mind. It didn't, it didn't go. Okay. So A, it's from politics. B, it's refers to something in a sport. C, it's related to livestock management. Or D, it's for describing cats. It was used to describe cats. <clears throat> okay. No, go back here. Right. And number three, put the hammer down, which is a, it's a slang term, comes from what area of activity? And it can, it's either playing a piano loudly, blacksmithing, carpentry, or driving. Okay. Okay, now this or porno one. Movies. What's that? Or porno movies. Or porno movies. Nope, that's not one of the choices. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get to write in our choices. If you know something I don't, then <laughs> we can just make a category out of it. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next one's just a question. It refers to the term boilerplate as used, just as used to describe standardized text, such as in a contract or other agreement. How did that word come to be used that way? So that's just a question. There's no, there's no multiple choice. Um, uh, number five, what is the original source of the phrase, go by the board? <clears throat> okay. uh, and number six, <clears throat> what is the origin of the term Donnybrook? It re either refers to one of these things, I'm going to paste in here. Either it's either a boxing match, a horse race, a fair, or a 13th century field sport similar to soccer. Or a river of ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. good. Very good, Faith. Yeah, a river of ketchup. Later. Yeah, that's, that's oh, that's very good, good Romero. Quite good. Okay. Um, oh, what is... I just got that. <laughs> <laughs> River of ketchup. That's Fine. very good. Very good. Um, what is the origin of the phrase to tow the mark? Okay. And that was number seven. Number eight is what is a busman's holiday? Now that is a phrase I have heard. Yeah, I have too. I didn't know what it meant or where it came from. Um, number nine is what does the rabbit died, like the phrase the rabbit died, what does that refer to? <laughs> okay. And number 10 is another multiple choice. And it's about what was the riot act? And here are the choices. There's only three of this one. Okay, let's see here. So it was either American legislation from the 1960s that was never passed into law, B, the fourth act of a third act play where the audience and sometimes the actors go out and party after the play, or C, an act from 18th century Britain instituted to give officials the authority to cause a mob to disperse. Okay, and there you go. All right, let's see, where is, and I can, oops. Adrian said to tell everybody hello. She hello, thought it was Wednesday. Adrian. 
<laughs> it was Wednesday. Okay. So it, I, it feels like some days feels like who knows what day it is. Okay, here we go. All right. It looks like somebody opened the rooms. Good. Yep. Maybe four. Hi, team. Hi. I a couple of these. Three, maybe four. Great. They're probably the same ones everybody else knows, but I never even heard that. Come a cropper. What the heck? I guessed I guessed a to shorten something, but really any of them makes sense unless okay. someone knows. Well, the way it said "come a cropper" didn't fit like to f a bad fall off a horse. That didn't quite fit. Come a cropper. So I was thinking it might be a no. I was I guessing either B or C, but um, I don't have any. I don't know. Has anyone has anyone ever heard? I've never even. No, and my mom's from the south, so no. Come cropper. Um, how will we decide? Should we go through and just do the ones we know we know? Yeah, let's go through and see how we do. Yeah. Okay. Independent is a hog on ice. I assume it's politics. It sounds like a political thing. I guessed politics, but I don't know. You do a lot with politics. You've never come across that phrase. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm going to put, I'm going to start using that for something. So I got to know what this means. Okay. What about um, three? Put the hammer down. Now oh. that, that I know, that's, I know that one. Which one do you okay. think it is? It's driving. Put the hammer down. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, yeah. Originally, I know that's what it is now for sure. Oh, like so you think it's what well. blacksmithing? I, I I don't know. Playing a piano loudly. I. They have a hammer I mean, in there, right? The only thing I know is it's definitely from used in talking about driving. I don't know if there's some obscure origin that she's looking for. Well, put that down because we. I'll just go with what we know for now. Yeah, put that for now. Okay. okay boiler crate has these dinner. Okay, dinner. it's something to do with, um, I don't know what it is, but it has to do with making newspapers, but I don't know what. You're Thank muted, you. Larry. Thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Have you heard any of these phrases before since you were muted and uh, you said something? Boiler plate. I, I think that's like a standard document. So what is it? Why is it called that? That's the question. It, it's how all contracts start off with, I think. But why is it called a boiler plate? Oh, OK. I have no idea. And not uh, some other um, word. Was uh, there a perhaps plate? Perhaps making a boiler plate is very simple and what about a printing printing plate? Old fashioned, but but the boiler part doesn't make Maybe sense. Maybe they boiled the plate when you were done to keep get the ink off of it. I've heard it to do with newspapers, but I can't remember. Okay, eight, nine, and ten. I know. Okay. <laughs> well, go. What was five? What's the original source of the phrase? Go by the board. Never I want to say that. it has something to do with monopoly. <laughs> Maybe the board. You go by what the board of trustees says. Oh. I've never even or, heard that as a phrase. The board walk <laughs> on the board walk <laughs> down by the sea. Um, uh, okay, Donnie Brook. Besides being ketchup, well, it's either a boxing match or a soccer field. I I think it's the. I think it's a 13th century field sport. Yeah, thing. never heard this phrase Donnie Brook before. No. Oh, okay. really? Yeah. Uh, there's there's okay. a there's a political discussion show on our local PBS channel called Donnie Brook. That's oh. sort of like a fight. Yeah. Okay. So could it so, be? Like... So is it a boxing match or is it actually a 13th century sport? I I, I think it's I think the origin is the field sport. In the, I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> okay, know. well, well, let's. I don't know. I don't know anymore. It's let's, either. It's either. It's. I, I have no idea. Let's go to the ones we know. We know. Then we'll know oh. how much time we have to discuss things. So what is seven? 
Do we know that? Is that like towing the line? Doesn't it mean like when you're running and you put your toe right up to that, to the line and like when you're going to do track and field? So like the starting so, line, so, like so, you put your toes right on the starting line? On that mark. Uh, all tracks are circular, so you want to uh, make your circle as small as possible. So you're trying to get next to the, the, the mark of the line. Okay, so okay, towing so the mark is like in racing, you would you would put your toes right up to the starting line. Is that what you're saying, Susan? No, 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 no. Uh, the lines between uh, the racers, like they all start off at different uh, starting points. And that's because uh, the route is longer for the person on the outside. So he's much further ahead. And uh, if you uh stay on the inside of the curve you're actually not going as far as if you were in the middle of the lane so what so therefore how does that translate into what is the origin of the phrase to toe the mark racing of uh, uh running okay okay so Karen, i don't know if that's days? right but you know <laughs> okay so number a busman's holiday. I I'm pretty sure I know this one. Okay, you stay at home. <laughs> no, it's where you're doing uh, what <coughs> what you do anyway, right? Like your bus, you you drive the bus and you're like driving your family around on a. Oh, that makes or, sense. Yeah. In other or, words, you're you're not really on a vacation. You're yeah, still, yeah, like, like you're like a you're tour a guide oh, by yeah. occupation, and you go oh. out, and that's what you do is you give tours like you're a cook and you're making a meal for the family reunion right right that makes, okay, sense. That makes sense so okay. i think okay. i think number six is a fair okay c okay we'll put c okay nine okay. we all know what that one is right do the men know what that is yes I think I you're, pregnant. <laughs> you're pregnant you're pregnant pregnant okay and then the and then the riot act is, is c another, is yes yeah, is i'm thinking it's c right yeah it's yep. c <laughs> remember that from a class I took or something. So which ones do we believe we know we know? Just the I last three. Nine, ten. <laughs> I, I, I feel pretty confident about six now that I've been thinking about it. Okay. So six, seven, let's stick with running for number seven for now. So we have six, yeah. seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. So we got half of them done. Well, the so, board is so, capitalized right there. So I think it's like a supposed to be a oil plate. Must it says go by the board. I think it's supposed to be the board of directors or something. So, so we switch number six to the fair. Oh, uh, yeah. Deborah to number C. Yeah. Room yeah. five wants help. Letter C. Oh, okay. Rob is asking for it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Where did five go? There it is. So I think the boy, it has, if it has to do with newspapers, which I believe it does, perhaps the boilerplate, because you know how they printed it on metal and then it's the same, the same, the same. So maybe that's how boilerplate came to, you know, it's like the template for everything. So the, the plate, the metal plate to make newspapers. So what does it got to do with boilerplate? Is a boil? Well, what we is have a no boiler? idea where the boilerplate is, right? Is it a is? It, I think it might plate, be a plate that they do with the metal, metal that they make newspaper, old like, newspapers with. Oh, and but so the a boiler the term. <sighs> Which one boiler is, is the only thing I can think of? Is a boiler is what you know? It's hot. It's well, maybe it's a hot plate, a plate that's hot that they used for making this <laughs> boilerplate standard no metal to make boilers the standard uh, quality oh, of the, the metal, metal used in yeah, boilers the standard piece of plate metal to fabricate boilers yes yeah, standard quality of metal that was you or standard quality or standard piece, standard I, piece I don't know metal. i'm making i don't know i it's was going to metal used paper, in a i give it up you're 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 saying that is is bringing something to mind that uh, that it refers to a piece of 
plate metal you use to make boilers. So it's Correct. a standard kind of metal. A standard. Could standard it be like a die or something that's you know presses the boiler plate? Presses you know, out. Come a cropper. Could be C. You know, it's like. Oh, so here comes a cropper. Come. Or, or it could refer to a riding crop, and that could be a bad fall off a horse. Well, falling off a horse doesn't have anything to do with a riding crop. If you're riding a horse, you have a riding crop. Well, you could crop your hair, too. To make up a group. Hmm. It's it's <laughs> it could be anything on that one. Uh, for number three, did we decide to go with D or blacksmithing? D. I think we decided on D because okay. we know that's right. Well, we don't know it's. I mean, well, right. it, it we know that it's yeah. now used for driving. Yes, it is. Okay. It yeah, it doesn't it doesn't say originally come from, so it does come from that activity, driving. Hog on ice. Let's go politics on that. I think so. It's fun. Not sports. Okay. Uh, which which one is that? That's two. Uh, two. Sorry, what politics, politics is is a two. For number two is a politics. Oh yeah, 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 okay. It just sounds right. He's like a, he's like a, he's as independent as a hog is on ice. You know, kind of. In other words, a feeder just like yeah, like he's independent because he doesn't know where the hell to go. Well, actually, that works for sports too. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Why didn't she give us some totally illogical answers? Yeah. Well, I think politics just sounds like something you would say, like like lipstick on a pig. Okay. Still, is still a pig. <laughs> okay, let's put an answer for everything in case we run out of time. Right. So, which ones don't we have? Five. Go by the board. I've never heard that phrase before. I think I've heard it. Isn't it mean like go with what the instructions say? Go with what? Mm, um, I don't think so. Go by the board. Yeah, doesn't it? I don't think Just, so. Doesn't. Gabbard, isn't it? What's that? <laughs> I like your shirt, Susan. That's great. or 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 could that or or could that be like uh, oh I don't know uh, the stock market uh, or uh, you know there there's a, a a board in the stock market there's a board in a racing uh, uh, overboard on a boat. How far are you guys along? Are you almost done? I think we have two. We're, we're, we've got well, I'm just thinking could just be something it. that's on a board. So. I always thought go by the board or something like that meant like go use, follow the instructions that are, have been agreed upon. And it's on a, like a. And I, I assume that meant like the, on a black board. I thought the person go by who, the board. The group with the board would be the people who decided on the rules. I thought go by the board had some sort of negative connotation, like it's not a good thing. Or is it That's just because a you have no city council and you're not used to following <laughs> rules? You're living in the the county area and you're a renegade <laughs> with cats. Okay. He's here. as independent as a hog on ice. Okay, let's put something here. So, so one was B, was that the horse cropping thing? And two was A politics. Okay, and so we're coming, three, wait, D, for, for one, we're using what? I'm just going over what I had. I've scribbled out a bunch. I want to see if I have the right thing. I wrote down B, B for one, A for two, D for three, four, standardized metal for making boilers standardized metal quality for making boilers nothing for five c for six running races for seven uh, same work you do when you're not on vacation pregnant and c 
Does that match what you guys have? I didn't what remember I on one that we had a fall off a horse, but. Okay, so then we have one and five. So let's yeah. come up with one and five. Well, I'm standing by five. What did you, what are you saying? That you're supposed to go by the rules, the original source of the phrase is that like a board of directors would decide this is the rules of, this is the policy or whatever. And so when somebody says, go by the, go by the board. What's the original source? Is that. So what's the source? Maybe it was Monopoly. What does it mean? Monopoly? And they had specific rules. I don't know, but that just feels. I'm here to just temporarily to to ruin your score. <laughs> no, no, Especially but I want, you had ten. I want to understand what you're saying. So the Is original that, that, source that, would be that to go by the board means to follow the instructions or follow the rules that were established by some. But it doesn't ask for the meeting, it asks for the source. So what is the source? That, so I hear you and I'm not arguing with that. Therefore, what would the source be? Supreme Court? Oh. Or what? Where'd that come from? <laughs> well, that that some authority would be I still think it's monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, you guys have 10 or points in the last one. So I think it's only fair that you should go with some random thing that I come up with. Just oh. <laughs> hey, Susan, if I if I do close all rooms, does it give two minutes like it sometimes one. does? One you minute? Give one. Okay, for sometimes we're Rob getting runs. sometimes we get two. Only when Rob That's is when running. Rob runs things. My, so my has, setup is says one minute. He does a different setting. I see. Yeah, he has a setting. You have I'd have to close out. You you have to set it before you come into the room. Carl, do you have another <laughs> idea for five? Yeah, not really. Okay, okay we're gonna so number put one, Monopoly. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. okay, so number one, come a cropper. What do we decide? The horse. The horse. Okay. I hope we don't come a cropper because of this. I'm thinking it's three. It's I started with A. I, we don't know. I started with A, but when I see that I'm my idea is not being considered, I just like pick it from what other people feel strongly about. Because I, I just assume somebody has heard this somewhere and it's in their brain, just in the background somewhere. No. No. Well, we've probably forgotten all kinds of phrases. Well, every time we learn a new phrase, you gotta throw out an old one. Well, we'll just put the hammer down and go full speed ahead. <laughs> it's like a, he says, as independent as a hog on ice. I think that's the only one I'm well, sure we're of. We're having a little bit of Johnny here trying to come to politics. Okay, good job, team. All right. I don't know how we did, Deborah, but we had some interesting discussions. We almost had a Donny Brook over here. You almost had a what? A Donnybrook. We had a Donnybrook Donny too. Brooke. Oh, I think we got that one wrong then. Wow. That was fun. <laughs> but I tell you what, the Donnybrook, it tasted great. Yeah. You guys didn't have Donnybrook about Jell-O. Was it less filling or did, <laughs> did it taste great? <laughs> Leonard, you beat me to the punch. I was going to say less filling. What did he say? <laughs> Is filling. it less filling or did it, it taste great? great? It tastes great. <laughs> it had ketchup. That's good. Everything's better with ketchup. Heck yeah, it is. Yeah. Especially on the wall. Even walls. The White House wall. Let me get. Um... That's a very uh, Quebec thing. They love ketchup on everything. Okay, Deborah. All right, are y'all ready for some answers? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, to come a cropper is B. To bad fall off a horse. Yes. <laughs> so the riding crop. Thank you, Bob. Uh, actually, uh, I heard somebody yeah. say it. Um, the original saying was one of the ways they said it was neck and crop because the crop is basically the part behind the saddle and uh, that would apply to you as well like the same part of your body and if you flipped hey, over Deborah, i know yeah. we're friends but you don't have to give all the details <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well i'm not <laughs> Wait till later on <laughs> so anyway so it would be a bad fall off a horse Okay, oh, I gotta my, know my, number my, two. My wife had a come a cropper in Bermuda. And, uh, so the right I answer know. for the wrong reason. Mm, yeah, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, number two, the phrase independent as a hog on ice was 
originally um, used in a sport. Oh. 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 It, uh, there's someone who never plays with us, but we know well who would would have known the answer to this. It refers to the stone in curling. Oh, Jay. Oh. 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 Yes. Yes. Very oh, good. Yes. The hog. Oh, Jim, very good. The Jim. Ho- no, 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 wrong. The the hog is the hog line. It's not a it's not the stone. There's a line okay. in the that you have to cross in curling that's the hog line. Okay. Well, anyway, that's what it said. It well, makes even less it, sense. So. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> yeah, it does make less sense. Canada. <laughs> The line is named after the stone. So I think I think most people, at least I heard, got this one. Put the hammer down. It comes from driving. Oh Yay! Breaker, breaker. Okay, um, oh, I thought it preceded that. <laughs> oh, maybe it's seriously. Yeah. That's a that's from the seventies. From it's yeah. got to be before that. Yeah. Well, probably. Well, probably probably blacksmithing. That's it. No. Nope. Uh, the hammer down refers okay. to driving. They're wrong. Putting, the, putting the, the gas pedal all the way to the floor. Yeah. Okay. This one, this boilerplate question was a little bit weird, and I knew when I wrote it. Um, but if you connected the part about the copy of the text to a boiler, the bo- word boilerplate, then you can count yourself as having it correct. The huh? the answer, I'll read it to you that I have here. The metal plates with the copy already set would be delivered to local papers from large news syndicates before the age of computers. These plates looked like the plating used to make steam boilers. And that's why it was called that. So most people got the steam boiler part, but the text was like in old typesetting, they would, they, would, they would do the whole story in typesetting and then just give the plates to the magazine or the newspaper or whatever to use so they didn't have to set it themselves. Okay, but but you'll refer to if if people didn't get the newspaper part but did get the metal plate part. Yeah, no, that's not enough. Mis- you have uh, to connect it. You have to know it'd be, about how to be a newspaper the, publishing. Um, is it enough to say that it was printing re- printing related? No, but we talked uh, about how it was was done. We, I mean, we how you just re- pulled it off the shelf. We said it it's was like a typesetter sets the, sets the thing in a. In yeah. a plate, and then they make a plate. Yeah, and then they delivered them, and they make more physically. plates, and they send the plates to different locations to printing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't get that okay. right. Yeah. Yeah. Did you write that it. in the chat, or since you have a I'll, I'll put all the answers in there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, the um, go by the board originally was a nautical term to fall overboard. Whoa, good team! What? Oh. Hey. hey, it was a tragedy, Peggy. <laughs> Oh man, I thought I had something to do with the monopoly. I'm just saying, my team did good. We broke over this, and we and and yet we we caved at the right time. No, they do that drafting. Go by the board. I I tried to think of some multiple choice for that one, but I just couldn't do it. Um, The term, the original term, Donnybrook, referred to a two weeks long fair Mm. once held in August (laughs) in Donnybrook, Ireland. We didn't even get it going, Carl. This this fair began in 1204 was discontinued in 1885, apparently due to the drinking and ensuing violence. <laughs> and, and, and there's a there's a political talk show where they get a panel of conservatives and liberals right, together right. to discuss the issues of the day on, on the local PBS channel here in St. Louis. The name of the show is Donnybrook, <laughs> which yeah, there's a link like, to in the chat now. Has something to do with drinking and... and drinking yeah. and fighting and Irish. Well, just Irish them people. arguing the Aren't issues they? of the day. Um, number seven, I think some people were getting this one. It's um, toe the mark is foot racing. It's like runners take your mark. It's toe the mark. Hey. Um, <laughs> and I think this next one also, the busman's holiday is spare time spent doing the same thing one does in one's regular. Karen got that. <laughs> that was good. Wait, what? I've heard that <laughs> phrase a lot, but I didn't quite know what it meant. Yeah, I didn't either. I, I just heard it a lot. It was in British. That's one of the few that I had heard before. Oh, yeah. That's okay. when you work on computers in your spare time, Ben. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people do that. I don't know anyone that does that. No. Um, okay, so I think a lot of people got this one. The the when the what does the rabbit died refer to as an early pregnancy test, and it, it involved sacrificing a rabbit. Um, Poor rabbits. Oh. Can you imagine? Does Does anyone know like actually what they did when they did this pregnancy? Yeah, test? Leonard described it. Did he? Yeah. Is it disgusting? They injected. They ejected pregnant lady urine into the rabbit urine. that died. 
And, and then, well, the rabbit didn't no, die they, because they, of the urine, though. He died because they had to go check to see if it made the rabbit's ovaries swell. So it had to right. now, <laughs> now, the rabbit to look. So now, the rabbit always died. The rabbit, whether, rabbit, the rabbit always, always died, died, whether the test, test was positive wow. or negative. And, and like now, that on the episode of MASH where they did yeah. surgery on the rabbit. Yeah, oh. but now, but but now, if you kill the rabbit, you could be arrested. Yeah. Kill right. the rabbit. No. Kill the rabbit. Kill the rabbit. All right, yeah. and the riot act was the yeah. um, an act from 18th century yeah. Britain instituted to give the officials authority to cause a mob distress. It's fun thinking up the um, multiple choice, though. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> I saw that you put the one about the cats in there. I said that's made up. <laughs> Are you going to put the answers in there? I'm going to put the answers. Yeah. Okay. No, I was so I disappointed not to see the phrase pulled out all the stops in there. Oh, I, if I thought of that, I would have. That's I know that one. one. Yeah. What is that one from? It's organ. whatever you find out in a future. The pipe organ and, and pulling out all the stops. On organs. The organ, yeah. What? Yeah, you pull out all the stops and you get all the big noise. Oh, I thought it had to do with people who were racing. Nope. And then they have the little things and they just pull the thing out in front of it and that's when they could go. Well, this is the best version right here. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you can't catch me because the rabbit done died. Even. Yeah, but the rabbit, the rabbit always died. <laughs> well, you still couldn't catch him. All right, now. Stop sharing now. Stop here. Yeah, it took me a while to find the button. <laughs> what was the tan? C. 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 I had that in American history class. Mm. I don't. That's the only one I practically knew. Boris? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, no, I'm waiting for a thing so I can copy them. Deborah's, Deborah's giving us the answers. I have to add them, as you well know, Rob, to the chart. And that number four was too long for me to write. The number four was kind of long. <laughs> Who's doing dishes? Sorry, that's me. <laughs> Someone that wants everyone to know that they're doing it. <laughs> they're being virtuous. <laughs> I, I was putting uh, away my uh, crispy chicken. Your crispy, salty chicken. Yes, yes. I, I made a mistake on the recipe. I, I doubled the spices and I shouldn't have doubled the salt. So. Wow. So, so one suggested improvement I, I'm going to send to Zoom organization for their software is uh, proximity detection. And when the person on the session moves away from the monitor, that it goes right. to mute automatically. Oh, it's actually that an idea. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good idea. And that the chat should not there keep have, closing every time There have been so many embarrassing else. situations where people were recording. <laughs> yeah, the poor man. Huh? They didn't know they left the microphone. Where anymore. somebody flushed the toilet? More yeah. than that. There, yeah. some worse, there are some worse ones than that, yeah. Pre-flush pre activity. Okay, so let's do scores now. All right, let's go with, um, we're done with herding dogs. Eight. Are you Good putting eight. it up on the screen? Oh, I could. Well done. That would be nice. You guys like that, huh? Mm. Yes. Eight looks just, better just than none of, none of us are competitive. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right, let's get that lined up nice and neat. Oops, there we go. Okay, so eight for we're done with herding dogs. You are now in the lead. Apparently Woo. the constitution is a suicide pact. Five. <laughs> and you're, you're down there tied. Nobody here but us chickens. <laughs> Apparently zero. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, seven. Ooh, forgot. I forgot than, what number we were. Are that's chickens, more than zero. Are chickens in the news this week? Is there something about chickens? No. I yeah, just... they're calling the people who didn't testify, who won't testify, chickens. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm because calling them that, but they are chickens. So, yeah. Cipollone and stuff. Um, crispy chicken wings. Uh, seven. I think Ooh. I heard that. Uh, 
what's his name? Um, oh, the guy that was kept being referred to scrolling on his phone. I love that visual. Mark Matters. Mark Matters. Mark Matters. Yeah, he hasn't come around. He's kind of hidden around now. Okay, yeah. so of course. Catch up. Catch up. I think we got six. Six. Okay, the lead is crispy chicken wings so far. Good. All right, so, so I got a close to a seven average, and I didn't kill my team. So good. Priorities. <laughs> <laughs> okay, five minute break. Oh wait, pitcher first. Pitcher first. Oh. For those people who will leave. Okay. Okay, ready, Mark. Can we see you? Is Wait, there a mark? I see Mark. One, two, three. <laughs> see if I made it right. Get it? Get it? Got it? Good. Yeah, I got it. Okay, good job. Wait Five now. minutes. Okay. Jeez. Bye then. I guess I'll be see you, Jim. pulling out as usual. Bye. 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 Leave me. <sighs> <laughs> we see Terry's dog. So cute. Okay. Take a look at Bob's uh, square there. It still looks like um, was it Alf? <laughs> How's Abby enjoying uh, Germany, Alan? Well, this week he is spending in Switzerland. He's having and such a great time in Germany, he left. He left. <laughs> um, it sounds like he's having a good time. I think he's enjoying himself. He's met a whole lot of people, made new acquaintances and stuff. And um, yeah, he's doing okay. Good going. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's so weird. Uh, we, um, for Father's Day, we... Uh, we zoomed with you know Sarah in Sacramento, Avi in, in Germany, and we, we, you know if you didn't look at if you didn't know that they were on the computer, it sounded like everybody was in the room. It's really pretty amazing. Yeah, some of this technology is is useful. Yeah. Um, well, I tell you what, and it's it's nice. I mean, it's not the same as hugging your kid, but you know we can talk. We can with like WhatsApp or, or FaceTime, you know, doesn't cost anything. You know, Leonard, you remember the days when you would, would make a phone call and you'd say, when you get there, call and, and re reverse, uh, reverse the charges or something like that. We won't accept it, but we'll know that you're there and we'll hear your voice. I do remember things like that happening. Yeah. That, uh, that happens very little these days. That's true. Yeah, we had it's, it's it's so nice that uh, the people that reverse engineered all this technology from the Roswell crash did it because, you know, <laughs> that's right. no, no people could have figured this out. That's right. We had, well, that, we was, had that was sorry, that was always a uh, cheap way to uh, tell your parents uh, you can phone me because I'm here in in uh, my dorm. And you can afford to uh, take the charges, but I can't. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. So, uh, you know, it was really weird. It's funny to think about the, the olden days. We, had, we used to go to a cottage um, uh, north of Toronto for the summer. And there were like 14 families, you know, 14 cottages, one phone. And it was in the main, <laughs> it was in, it was in the main, uh, uh, the, uh, the owner's, just outside the owner's uh, cottage. And uh, there was, and there was, a, there would be a singular ring for that lot. Like for all those, there was one special ring, so that they, that you, you, the phone would ring, and you, if it wasn't your ring, you didn't pick it up. But if it was our ring, so someone would pick it up, and then the operator would say, "This is for so and so." So then you'd have to go running across with all these cottages to find so and so, and you always knew. That the, the operator would sit there and listen to your conversations. <laughs> so they always they always knew what you were talking about. But it was just so weird. And so if there was an emergency, you only had the one, you only had the one phone. You had to get to that phone and uh and and 
call the operator and have the operator call call around. Okay. The olden oh, days when everything was in black and white. Right. Oh my God. The, so, my the day, so called good old days, yes. Yeah, yeah, really. In, in my day, we had the birds, you know, the bird would like, <laughs> You're not that old. Fly over and, you know. <laughs> was your cottage up near Lake Simcoe? It was on Lake Simcoe. Yeah. Okay. So you were you were up there? Um, once or twice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bell Ewart was the name of the the thing, and it was really funny because we had I have uh, family from my in my my mom uh, and you know was originally from Toronto and her two sisters. The um, the middle sister went down event, had gone down to Philadelphia and was living down there. Um, she got married and the kids the family's there, but they would come up and spend the summer. And so we had the family every year for many, many, many years. So my uh, my cousin from Phil one of my cousins from Philadelphia is a uh, is a uh, neurologist, mm -hmm. and he's sitting there and he's he's talking to somebody. I guess a, a patient had come in, and they just get talking, and the guy the, and the, the patient happens to start talking about uh, about Toronto and stuff like that. And he says, "On oh, we used to go up to a cottage north of uh, Toronto." So my cousin says, "Oh, were you in Bellurit?" And the guy goes, "Like what? Like how the hell would you know Bellurit?" Anyway, it was a little small place. That's but, a pretty uh, small town. Bellurit was a. It, it was just it, it was just, it was a train stop. Okay, I, I, I mean I've heard of Lake Simcoe, <laughs> and I guess the big, the largest city around there is Barry. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but I certainly didn't hear that town name before. Yeah, and that no, no, this is this is literally it was. I mean, it was uh, everybody there was Jewish that uh, uh, during the summer. You know, there was that uh, Bellurit or Jackson's Point is where where everybody went. But Barry, uh, Barry at that time was I think like twenty three thousand people. It's now <coughs> well over a hundred hundred thousand, and it's essentially now a. Uh, um, it's it's like a suburb of Toronto, you know. You can yeah, which is amazing. Yeah, but so um, that's where all the Jews are then. They were in Bell in Bell. You were in, in, around here. What's that? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I said, is that where all the Jews are? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh huh. But, but uh, no, yeah. there there are no Jews in Alberta. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> are we ready? <laughs> The mayor, they used to have a Jew, they had a Jewish mayor in, uh, in Calgary. No, 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 no. Are you guys all ready to start? Muslim Muslim. No, 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 they, the had, they had, it was a long time ago, but they did have a that? Jewish mayor. You oh, know? really? I'm not okay. on, yeah. on uh -huh. the right screen. Yeah, you are. You can see me? Yeah. We can see you. Yeah. You see yep. I have the Zoom screen that says Zoom. <coughs> you can close that. What? The, the place you sign in? <laughs> no, it says Zoom phone is expanding your reach. It's like an ad page or something. Well, you don't need that. Just go to your thing that so shows we, all the we, pictures we, of it. We see you, Mark. Yeah, but I don't, I don't have any control over anything. Let me go look. I'll be right back. Uh, join the club. <laughs> uh, That's how it feels yeah. in the world. Control is overrated. Oh, Mark, I was gonna okay. go. I was gonna go see that that mentalist guy. Uh, whatever uh, that we, I, I, I'd asked you guys about, but it turned out they, they ran out. They didn't have any tickets left, so I, I can't go see the guy. Well, you didn't remember his name, anyways. So <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was Kreskin, right? Uh, <laughs> was it Kreskin? He's amazing. No, hang on. Well, what the hell was his name? The amazing Kreskin. Yeah. Was it in Vegas? No, no, no. It's uh, he's uh, it's it's in Chicago. He's got a show, a show here. You know, um, Mark Salem. I, I no, I'd have to look it up. It was the one I told you about the other day, Mark. What? He told me. I told. I asked you if you knew this mentalist. Yeah, I. He doesn't. And I wanted to go, either. but by the time we made up our minds that, that we wanted to go, it was uh, he'd already. Um, There's just so many mentalists now. It's like. It's not any fun anymore. You said you you said he would have had a good time. His name is Ross Johnson. Oh, Ross Johnson. Yeah, yeah. I used to be in the Psychic Entertainers of Ross Johnson Association. Psychic and Entertainers Association. Yeah. I'm psychic. 
He's one of the top, top, top in the world. I bet that would have been worth seeing. If you, if you well, that's probably, the, well, that's, uh, the, the, so I was offered free tickets, but yeah. by the time we decided to, to take them, they, they were gone because it's not a big theater, so. Well, yeah. What I suggest is from now on, start counting class. But I'm trying yeah. to think of, I'm trying to think of what the one is that I actually ended up signing up for. The only thing really? that I can predict is when I go to bed. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to predict. Okay, so there, do we have any announcements coming up? I don't see any podcasters here. Well, there's no podcasters. Janine, Except I'm falling asleep at my desk, so I think I'm going to say good night. And I sure had fun this evening. Well, good night, Wendy. It's great hey, to have Wendy. you here. Good to see you for the first two rounds. Nice seeing you. Always a pleasure. So long. Next week. So um, we have anything coming up? Janine's got, still trying to get people to go to Oregon for Eugene's thing coming up I'm in good. August. Eugene in August. And I will be there. And then right out, uh, Mark will be there. And, and Ray Hyman will be there. Yeah. And Janine, oh, yeah, he's pretty important for that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. If you have a Ray Hyman Appreciation Day, you hope that Ray Hyman is well enough to attend. And I will yeah, be at, right. I will be in... Uh, uh, LA coming up in August also and then we have the Barry Skeptical conference it's coming up July 16th I'll really push that again oh yeah we have Skeptical and Richard Saunders is going to be here at my house on the 8th 9th 10th and the 11th of July so we'll have a party probably on the 9th or the, well, him, probably the 10th we'll see if Ross Plancher said he might come up well, you signed him today so um uh, possibly the 9th or the 10th, we'll have a barbecue at my house. And then that's all we have for the moment. And of course, everybody's invited to that. <clears throat> I can make it. And then, Would I be invited to that? If you can get here. Yeah. Okay. And then QE, um, Skepticon in October. You guys got to make your plans for that because we really got to go hang out together. PsyCon 2022 with everybody. Yeah. Any, any hockey fans? No. No. Rob, you have anything you got coming up soon? No purrs. Wow, we're all just dry today. Okay, so let's get started again. So our next category is going to be run by Miss Peggy. Good evening. Uh, Peggy, Peggy. Peggy. Good okay. evening. I have a category that is called Dogs in Fiction. Uh -oh. It's all about dogs. Ooh. All dogs 24-7. Who's, who's got a background uh, noise? It's not my dog. Just mute everybody. You're muted, Peggy. I'm not muted. Well, now you're not. I was not muted. You were while you were talking three seconds ago. You were talking. Well, I had already hit the button. All right. What is the name of Odysseus's dog in the Odyssey, who is the only one who recognizes Odysseus? When he returns home after 20 years. Oh, I gotta go to that. I gotta go to that. Sorry. I gotta talk to myself while I do the rest of the questions. What are you calling the category? Dogs in fiction. Okay. Dogs in fiction. Oh. It was gonna be literature, but then I uh I expanded the category a little bit. Okay. Listen, you're thinking of pigs in space. Pigs in space. Could be a That's great category. category. Pogs on ice. <laughs> it would be a good category, pigs in space, but it's not tonight's category. Okay, so the next question is, what is the name of Mr. Rochester's dog in Jane Eyre? Is it Zeus, Pilot, King George, or Thackeray? And... We're going to do that. Number three is what is the name of the dog in Peter Pan? I'm putting it in the chat. I'm putting it in the chat. Slowly but slowly putting in the chat. And number four. What is the name of Dora's dog in David Copperfield? And there's a choice. And that choice is about to be revealed to you. 
that choice is, is it Fufu, Poppet, Jip, or Lizzie? Number five. What is the name of the dog in Dashiell Hammett's The Thin Man? And number six, a dog named Crab appears in which of the following Shakespeare plays? And you will have a choice. Crab the dog. And number eight, what is the name? Copy. I'm sorry. I got to do this and do this. I think the. I think you have seven is six. Oh, did I skip one? All right. So now I'm on eight. I might have to run back to six. Okay. The, the name of the dog that Steinbeck traveled with and wrote a book about is number eight. And yes, I have to go back to six. Sorry. I'm glad I'm not the first person to have ever done that. <laughs> Oh, this yeah, is good. You are the first person to ever do a monado out of sequence. So I, I am not. Yes, you are. I am not. <laughs> this happened as recently as last week. I'm pretty sure I did it. I'm not naming names. I'm just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, unlike saying. Uh, man, many of Trump's men, I am not a coward. I will admit it. I'm and Rob, you weren't person. the first one either. Will you oh, testify no. over oh, many, by, times. Uh, uh, many times? And Susan oh, okay. was the first. We know it. Of course, it was me. The first six know. months, you did all the questions. You had to have made one mistake. Did you, did I ever tell you guys I was struck by lightning? Oh wow, that's going to be a better better category than dogs of fiction. <laughs> what is the name of the main canine character? The canine character in the Call of the Wild. That's number six. And then we are on. Oops, where'd we go? Where'd we go? Go here. We got crab. Okay, number nine is. Oh, sorry, I'm having. Here we go. Copy that. Put that in here. The name. Um, okay. Talk, T-O-C-K, is a watchdog, in quotation marks, in what children's classic novel that was published in 1961? This is why I had to change the name of the category from literature to fiction. This is, what's the dog's name in Family Guy? which I would not describe as literature, but perhaps we could debate that later. Good literature. Television literature, so to speak. So there's nothing about chaos theory in here. It's all about just stupid dogs. <laughs> not stupid dogs, it's some very intelligent dogs. Some of them are, some well, of them fiction, are. So some of them even talk. All right, great, great job. How did I know it was going to be about dogs? That might be predictable. I had some other categories I could. I got to come up with another category because I was going to do cartoon dogs. Well, that would be fine. You can I only do, do that. I only did Actually, one I think we got I'm just that kidding. before. I think we I'm just kidding. I don't had animals in, in cartoon, I think was one of my categories or something like that. God, it was so long ago, three years ago. All right. Great job. Send us to our rooms. All righty then. Oh, I have power. I have power. Oh, oh wait, power. I'm being I'm being invited to join room three. So you just don't I, go to it. And you go wherever you want because you have the power. I didn't, I don't have the power. Yes, do I do. have the power? Yeah, you open up the rooms. I did not open up the rooms. Oh, you have the power. I can close the rooms though. Yeah, but you can go from room to room. Does everybody get sent to a room? Yeah. Because no, I didn't do I didn't. it. I didn't. 
Yes, I didn't do it. Uh, and and it said Terry did it to me. Wait, maybe I can go myself. There, I'll, yeah. I, I still have power. Okay. You have power still. <laughs> I trust me. I'm I'm watching. All right. So I'm having to jump up and down. Hi, team. So, yeah, good. Hello. Hi. So which which one did you say, Jamie? Uh, the last one. Number ten is Brian. 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 Can we start at the top and work down? Yeah, that's the only one I knew. So. <laughs> Brian, okay. like B R Y. Okay, I don't okay, know one. one. I don't know number one. But um, number okay. two, I just finished reading Jane Eyre, and the dog is Pilot. Yay! Good. Uh, number three. I didn't even know there was a dog in. I was Peter thinking the Pan. same thing. There's a dog in Peter Pan. It's like there's a dog in Peter Pan. Um, and I don't remember Dora's dog, but I think it was Jip. I don't remember David Copperfield. Am I wrong? Which would be C? David Copperfield, maybe. Yeah, I'm Jip? thinking it was. Um, I don't know the thin man. Anybody Asta. know the thin man? It's um, it's it's um, Asta. I love that show. I love that the that Asta. 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 A S T. I think. What's his name? The actor. He says one of my favorites. Um... Crab. Crab. I don't know. I. Oh, it's been years since I had Shakespeare. I don't know my Shakespeare. Wait, number six. What is the main, main canine character in The Call of the Wild? Isn't that? Uh, Buck, right? I never read it. Uh, we started reading a little section. I'm pretty sure it's Buck in my writing class a year ago. And I couldn't read. I can't read Call of the Wild. It's just too, it's too awful. Mm. Um, seven. I don't know. No, we've done seven. Eight. Eight's Charlie. Travels with yeah, Charlie. Travels Charlie. When you come, mm -hmm. when you come to Salinas, you can see the Travels with Charlie. Um, his car, huh. his, his truck. Nine is the Phantom Toll Booth. Oh. Uh, Oh, I was. My favorite. Oh, that I sense. love that book. I well, love I that book. It was. Damn it! I was thinking it was the Wizard of Oz um, series because there's a character in there that's called TikTok. But you're right. That's what it is. Phantom Tollbooth. Mm -hmm. God, that is a good story. And mm. that's my. I love that book. I read it and reread it. That's it's wonderful. so good. Okay, ten we have. Okay, let's go back. Okay, one. Oh, what's the name of the dog? Um, oh, excuse me. I'm I should sorry. Know that. Did you say it's Bryant or Brian? Brian, B R I A N. Brian. <clears throat> and I should know the first one. What's the name of the dog? Um, God, when I hear it, I'll know it. Oh, what's that dog's name? You know, I, I seem to remember hearing the phrase that a a dis a a disease. I know. Did I know. <laughs> his dog rec is the only one that recognized him, but I don't remember if yeah. I ever heard the dog's name. Hmm. Oh, what's his name? Um, okay. Peter Pan had a dog. Peter Pan. Yeah, I don't know Peter. Or dog. maybe somebody don't else remember did. the dog in Peter. It might not have was been it? his dog. No, not his dog, but but uh, a dog. No idea. Oh. You guys, did you get number four? No, I'm thinking it's Jip. Well, but I'm you, guessing. I'm well, guessing. you sound you sounded pretty convincing the first time. So <laughs> I haven't read David Copperfield in years. Yeah. Well, it hasn't changed. <laughs> I know, but I don't remember her, her, it. Whereas all, all I just finished. 
I just finished reading Jane Eyre. You know, I, I tried to read Jane Eyre and I just couldn't get into it. And that was years ago. I just, it was like, why is she letting these men push her around? And what is, you know, what's so special about this guy after all? You know, just because he's wealthy, she needs to find somebody who's, you know, I just couldn't see it for the. Oh, I was thought written. she didn't push. She didn't mm. get pushed around. Well, didn't she? I thought she did. <laughs> she decided for herself what she was going to do. Was it having, I can't remember the ending. Did she end up marrying a man? It I'll turned out that. that she she married the man that she wanted to marry, not the man that wanted to drag her off to Africa as a, his wife to do missionary work. And the man she married had lost his fortune and lost his eyesight. And yeah, anyway. Oh, but that was her life is to marry a man. I mean, she must have been pretty amazing if she had a book named after her. <laughs> she has to wait on a man. Hmm. How many, how many pair of glasses? Story. How many pair of glasses are you wearing? Two. I know, you, I know you're talking about me. I, glasses, I, just I, got these, too. I just got these glasses. They were 500 and something dollars. And I said, I don't need the thing, the bifocal part, because I, I take off my glasses to read close up. But what I'm missing is this thing from here to my computer screen. It's like, oh. I feel so stupid, but I just got them. It's got a great prescription, but I can't see this computer screen. I feel do like, do I'm so mad. Do you have a Costco membership? No. Nope. Because you, you can get you can get so much it's so cheap you can get it at Costco. Really? For really? Less. <clears throat> Some of our complicated glasses, I don't think you're gonna get cheap anywhere. <gasps> no. Okay. Number seven. The dog crab. Who remembers their Shakespeare? Not me. Nope. I don't think I've seen or read any of these. Tybalt has slain in Romeo's hand and slay. Romeo I read spoken. all of these. Romeo, you know. which is it? I have no idea. Crab almost Gale makes this me week? think Midsummer Night's Dream, but I was going to say all spell Jamie, Gale? Jamie? I don't know. Amy. Oh. oh, the only time he sees his sister is whenever we play Drew. <laughs> 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 yeah, she's not there today. She was enough. here last week. Let's, let's go right. with the B. All swell that, that ends well. But the ge gentleman of Verona. I've seen none of these. I doubt it's the Mary Wives of Windsor. Well, the, first, the first three are comedies and the dog's name is Crab. Mm -hmm. It's been ages. I don't remember the two gentlemen of run. Okay. We've got eight, six, nine, and 10. So one and three. I should know one. I, should, I, don't try, I just read it just a few months ago. Uh, oh, seven. Why don't, why don't you just pick a, pick a letter for seven? I did. B. Oh, B. Okay. All's well that ends well. Sure. The dog I'm just guessing. Peter Pan, that was in Peter Pan would be. So there was Wendy. And Peter. Peter. Peter, Wendy, and Peter. But what are the two children? Susan, how are we doing, my team? Are we doing okay? Are we ready no. to roll? Not bad. We need a little bit more time. We're missing one and three. We're missing. And like Jamie's working on one, and yeah. Susan and I are working on three. And I'm eating potato chips. <laughs> and, and Alan, he's he's causing trouble. <laughs> Room four is just Kevin and Robin. Ooh, that was poor guys. They got they got stranded. I'm trying to remember. Um, this wasn't a bad category. That's a good category. Me. 
Yeah, so it's good. It for, is. Very good I like it. I like it. You like it's it? Not it's not about TV. TV. It's not about TV in it. Yeah. They had Family Guy. Peter Pan. So do you remember, there were the two little children. There was Peter and Wendy. Mm -hmm. There was Tinkerbell. And what were the two little children's Susan? names? I think one was Susan and... Really? I okay. think so. And there was a little boy. Weren't they a little boy and girl? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they were younger siblings of Wendy. Mm -hmm. Maybe there wasn't. And, mm -hmm. and the dog would have been not Captain Hooks. So maybe the boys. How about calling the it boys had a dog? Call it Spot. <laughs> What would it be? It wouldn't be Trixie or anything. I don't know. Oh, and uh, number one, but this is his dog. Um, I, I don't think I'm right, but I just remember the name Azra, A Z R A, but I don't know if that's the, the answer to this one. A Z R A, Azra, what we have. But I, I'm just trying to remember. Once I hear it, I just. I don't think that's it, but I just. Oh, I just read it not so long ago. Yeah. But the detail that you don't pay that much attention to. Peter Pan. Uh, Do you remember Peter Pan? No. Yeah, Mary uh, Martin. What are the boys? Yeah. <laughs> what are the boys? They're called the what boys? Wild boys? The lost boys. The lost boys. Hmm. The Lost Boys. Were they the one that had the dog? We don't remember a dog in Peter Pan. Did it fly? You probably will when you hear the answer. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to call uh, you all back now. I'm going to the main room. Back. Okay. Okay. Bly? You said Bly? That's a nice name. That's the name That's of the, the um, captain. E L Y E, Bly. How's that for the dog's name for Peter Pan? Okay. <laughs> I Did don't know where that came from. But <laughs> what was the name you said, Janine? Bly. B-L-Y-E. Didn't well, you that's say a captain, that? captain, isn't it? Captain Bly? Oh, Captain Bly. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, that's from Moby Dick. It would have been a good, good name. Hmm. You're right. Captain Hook. That was a character from... Peter Pan. Captain, Bly, Captain Bly is from Mutiny on the Bounty. Mm. Oh. So it could have been Bly. Well, keep it anyway. We've got nothing else. We've got spots. nothing there. We got yeah. nowhere else to go. Nowhere. Good job, team. Yeah. I'm going to go see, make sure Mark got into his screen right. right. Whenever I come in here, I'm always reminded that reporting is in progress. Must be. I it. believe. I believe we all are. Yes. That's, that's good. They want to make sure that you yes. have consent. Yes. <laughs> that's probably based on the fact enthusiastic that you can turn and on consent your... is always important. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. No. yes. Oh yes. Oh God yes. So, so Carl, we were ch chatting in our um, room because uh, uh -huh. I'm I'm trying the other flavor of of Zevia that I bought. Oh yeah, it's it's marginally better than grape, but still the aftertaste isn't so great. Well, it's it's, it's uh, cherry cola. It's slightly more appealing than licking a shag carpet. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think I'll be purchasing Zevia anymore. <laughs> All right, let's go. Good job, Peggy. Well, Arf. Um, Arf. So number one is. Uh, the Odysseus dog who recognizes Odysseus and then dies instantly is Argos, A-R-G-O-S. Oh. Argos. Which you all will remember now. So it's not Spot. It's Ar not Spot. Oh, damn Spot. Unless Argos <laughs> is old, Ar Spot and Greek. Ar Why does the dog die? He's old. He's like 25 or something. He oh. was staying alive just to see his master one just more time. Yep, yeah, just one more time. Okay, and then the Jane Eyre dog, Mr. Rochester's dog is Pilot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we guessed Yay, wrong. Janine. We guessed wrong. 
We blew it. Well, that never happens. Did I, did I get that right? We narrowed it down to two, and that was the one we didn't pick. Ben, did I get that? No, that was no Kevin. That was the one we did pick. It was pilot or Zeus. No, yeah, you no, picked, no, we picked pilot. No, I was there. You picked Zeus. I said, Could I the last second? Wow. Wow. I wasn't there till the bitter end, so maybe they changed it. Robin, no, Robin did that with her. her she picked I, Zeus, I, I, picked thought we were changing, I, okay I thought we were changing it. Maybe we can. I need an attorney. I want you doing for me. Number three. I want Saul Goodman. Number three, the dog and Peter Pan is Nana. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Who, who's, Thank you, who, Robin. Who had a dog there? <laughs> na, 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 there was a dog in the beginning. Na, na, na. I don't know that the dog goes off to Never Never Land, but the dog is certainly. In oh, the it room. might have stayed at the yeah. house where. Oh. She's the babysitter dog. Yeah. The big. She, she's a big English sheep dog. Yeah. Yeah. And Dora's yeah. dog in David Copperfield number four is Jip. Oh, wow. Yay. Janine knew that one. Oh, and I, how did, yeah, how did we pull that one. that one out? Good job, team. The Thin Man's dog in uh, is Asta, A-S-T-A, always in a crossword puzzle because it's such a great collection of letters to use for a small. Oh, and I love that. And again. I love that. Those uh, movies. The Thin Men series movies. are great. The, the dog in the book is actually a schnauzer, but the dog in the movie is a, a terrier. Uh -huh. A T Rex, short haired terrier or something. It, yeah, it's a wire haired oh, terrier. They're they're easier to photograph apparently than a darker schnauzer in black and white. The name of the main canine character in the Call of the Wild is Buck. Oh, yeah, darn it, Janine, man, she did she jammed with these. Yes. The dog named we Crab. Have, we all would know about literature if we didn't have a TV. Yeah. Well, all of these, are, most of this is all in movies that you could have seen on the TV. Well. Well, why didn't you say I don't so? watch PBS I mean, that, that totally much, changes things. Janine <laughs> just finished read, uh, reading uh, Jane Eyre. Like oh, that. cool. The dog named Crab is in Two Gentlemen of Verona. Uh, yes. Thank you, Robin. The dog okay. that Steinbeck traveled with is Charlie. Travels with Charlie. What yeah, a great Robin, good job, book. Team. I'm so pleased that so many of you got the Phantom Toll booth because that is Janine a book that I've never read until it was a great book. It's my it's favorite book. book. Thank you, I love it. I've never read it and I got it based on the cover. Yeah, it's just so great. It's a great book. I was book. trying to think it. of it. I kind of. Is, is, it a, I thought, is it a fine I, book? But it's yeah. not horribly depressing? No, no, it's no, no this is the, the Phantom Toll booth is not a Steinbeck book. Oh, I'm sorry. And Travel is a wonderful book. Yeah, tra yeah, Travels with Charlie book. is uh, just a, it's a travelogue. And I didn't, I've so never read it. it's not horribly depressing. Like but I've else. seen, no, 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 but I've seen the truck. And number 10, I think everybody got Brian, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Brian. Is it B-R-Y-A-N or B-R-I-A-N? Wait, I'll do we have you, to? I'll give you a credit for either one. <laughs> do we have to have the full name? Do we need Brian no. Griffin? Okay. No, just Brian. I don't know that Brian needs to have a Griffin name. Okay. He'd probably be proud not to. Yay, Peggy. Good job. Thank you Whoa. for indulging my dog -a mania. The only thing that would have been made it better is if there was a cameo by your dog. It's oh, there, oh, there yes. could be. There could be, but he, he seems to have gone outside. I should check on that. Hey, that should be the bonus question. What's her dog's name? Yeah. George. <laughs> What's, what's no, Tell me about the rabbits. What's his middle name? <laughs> George uh, the dog. The. The, yeah. George the hill. George on the, on the hill. <laughs> it's George Alfred. Oh, George Alfred? Alfred? Yeah. Alfred? Hey, Alfred's a nice name. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. So one team seems to be way out in the lead. Let's go with, apparently the Constitution is a suicide pack. Come and redeem yourself. Seven. Okay. A lot in the lead. The team that Peggy had were done with herding dogs. Seven. Well, you didn't tank your group. They have the lead now. Nobody here but his chickens. Um, to mute. 
Seven. People mute yourselves, please. Don't make you mute themselves. Catch up. Five. Oh, you think you're you're bringing down the average score. I thought we had more than that. Ten. Oh. Crispy chicken wings. Ten. How do you have ten on everything? Because they have Carl. Crispy chicken wings. Uh, I think Carl. I only provided maybe three answers in this round. Carl, you're getting boring. I got Brian on the last one. Karen, Karen, Karen and Deborah just had a lot of answers in this one. We know our dogs. Yep. Well done, Dr. Good job, us, Peggy. Too. Somebody needs to do cats next. I accept the Just challenge. wait till the next category. There's a cat question. <laughs> is that yours? <laughs> yep, there's a cat question. Okay. But is it about ketchup? <laughs> no. So no. now we're I was hoping the round was going to be about ketchup. Hey, get out of here. You know you're not supposed to be in here. Come on out. Uh-oh. Uh. Yes, ketchup a, is, is ketchup a fruit sauce, kind of like you know, strawberry jam, or is it a vegetable sauce? Cats? Cats? Ketchup. <laughs> what, what it is is delicious. And that's it's all it's that a botanical about. vegetable song, but a culinary fruit song. All right, Kevin, you're up. <laughs> the other way around. Something. Okay. Answer the questions. Fill Thank in the you, blanks. Baby. Uncover the theme. But I'm bummed. Like usual. Mute. Question. Question number one. I took my love, I took it down, I climbed a mountain and I turned around and I saw my reflection in the snow-covered hills till the blank brought me down. Are you and Carl already has question. the theme. <laughs> 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 and I'm not joking. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Down on the corner, out in the street, Willie and the blank, blank, are playing, bring a nickel, tap your feet. I think Karen already knows it. Anthony works in the grocery store, saving his pennies for someday. Blank, Leone left a note on the door. She said, Sonny, move out to the country. Number four, Roy Rogers horse. Number five, Blank is a movie ticketing company that also owns a streaming service. The company was founded in 2000 and is currently owned by NBC Universal and Warner Brothers Entertainment. The company's competitors are movietickets.com and adamtickets.com. Number six. Blank and Lightfoot is a 1974 American crime comedy film written and directed by Michael Simino and starring Clint Eastwood, Clint Eastwood, Jeff Bridges, George Kennedy, and Jeffrey Lewis. Now they get tougher. And as I approach the cat question, <laughs> blank That's literally means carefully. that we start our action seeking help and blessings through the name of Allah. Okay. I cut and pasted that one because I didn't, I don't know what that even means. Oh, thank you. Cause I didn't have a clue either. Blank blank is a 2008 musical romantic comedy with music composed by Benny somebody the plot follows a young bride-to-be who invites three men to her upcoming wedding with the possibility that any one of them could be her father. Oh, interesting. That sounds fun. 
in more ways than one. Mm -hmm. Number nine. It could all be her father. Uh, I got a word spelled wrong. It's going to pop up wrong. Dictionary, it's supposed to be. Blank is a name derived from a Philistine god formerly worshipped in Ekron, later adopted by some Abrahamic religions as a major demon. It goes on and on and on, blah, blah, blah. It, just read it. It's, you'll get the answer once you figure out the theme. And number 10, the cat question. It's time to play Name That Cat. Name That Cat. And there is the cat. Take a good look, take a screenshot, and name that cat. Okay. Okay. That's it. Everybody got a screenshot of that so I can shut it down or should I leave it up? Question. Carl's call got with, a question. Yeah. I need him to wait while I'm trying to get my screenshot utility going. Okay. Hold on. Name that cat. I'll make it bigger. Kevin, Kevin, can you put that in the chat somehow? I don't know. So just take a picture of it. Does no, not everybody it, have a yeah. phone with a camera on it? Yeah. Yeah, but we need to picture. share it when we get to our group. No, no, we got if, a picture if, of it, Rob. If you're yeah. using if you're using Windows, just hold down Windows Shift S and then you can yeah. drag a box. So this is why that. people still don't have they say, Well, everybody has a high def camera Rob, and has we, pictures of aliens and UFOs. Because no one knows how to use their camera. Rob, we've got uh, a screen capture. We're good. Okay. Well. Okay. I didn't know are about that window pictures, shift desk. Are That's pretty window shift desk. Are the pictures around the cats of any in, in Go to your rooms. <laughs> Hi team. Well, get out of here, Rob. I mean, uh, Kevin. <laughs> Why? We have no team members. You might need some help. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh wait. It's just me and it's just me and Robin. That's right. I'm watching, oh. I'm watching the thought process. Oh. Oh. All right. Okay. Well, um number one, I maybe I need to write these down then. I don't have a pen. Let me see. I can find one in my purse. Number one is a landslide brought me down. And oh, I didn't know that. What brought me down? I'm not a good singer. Landslide me down. I wore that album out in high school. Who is it? Huh? Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't have a pen. So I can't write this down. But a number one is landslide. Number two, down on the corner. Yeah, I'll write it down. Out here in the street, Willie and the poor boys. The poor boys. Willie and the poor boys are playing. Bring a nickel, tap your feet. Anthony works in the grocery store, saving his pennies for someday. Mama Leone left a note on the door. Okay, Mama. Mama. Okay, what was number two? Uh, Willie and the Poor Boys. I'm so glad you're on this team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, Kevin. Willie and the Poor Boys. Roy Rogers' horse is Trigger. Trigger. Yeah, we got that That's one. That's the only one I knew. <laughs> yeah. Five is a movie ticketing company. Uh, could it be Ticketmaster or? It's the only thing I could think of. Um, there's another one, I think. There's another one where you get movie tickets, like Fandango. 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 Kevin, let's you can watch this later. Switch. Let's do Fandango. <laughs> I think it's I think it's Fandango. Okay. Okay. Uh, Something six. in Lightfoot is a 1974 American crime comedy film. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask my husband in the next room. Hang Kevin, on. why are you still here? There you go. Hmm. 
Gordon, no. Okay, my husband says Thunderfoot and Lightfoot. That's, That's right. Six. Thunderfoot and Lightfoot. I've never heard of it before. That sounds familiar. Okay, number seven, no idea. Blank literally means that we start our action seeking help and blessing, blessings through the name of Allah. I do not know what that means. Okay, number eight is a musical romantic comedy. It sounds good. Um, that's Mamma Mia. Oh, is that it? Yeah. I've always, they're always talking about that. Number nine is a name derived from a Philistine god formerly worshipped in Ekron and later adopted by some Abrahamic religions as a major demon. It is associated with the Canaanite god Baal. In theological sources, predominantly Christian, it is another name for Satan. He is known in demonology as one of the seven princes of hell. The Dictionnaire Infernal describes him as being capable of flying, known as Lord of the Flyers or Lord of the Flies. Huh, that's a good question. Which cat? What's that cat? The cat is from. Um... Well, I, is it called Tomcat? But I think it's like Tomcat Junior or something. We're seeing it from. Who was it in? It's it's it's. And why are it, all those Shakespeare looking like things near it? In the picture. Um, I don't know, but I think it's the Junior of a of a daddy cat. The, wasn't like it, it in? Um, wasn't it in? Pinocchio? I don't think so. I think it's Tom Cat's child. Okay, so let's see about the theme. Maybe that'll make sense. Okay, landslide, poor boys, mama, trigger, thunderfoot, and mama mia. I'm not going to put the fandango because it doesn't seem like it fits. I do not landslide, know. Landslide, poor boys. Mama, Trigger, Thunderfoot, Mama Mia. L M N O P. Mm. Another name for Satan. Could it be Beelzebub? I don't know. You 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 went to religion more than I do. Is there any uh, one of those Satan characters? Could be Lucifer. Um, I'm just trying to find the theme to help me guess the others, but I'm not seeing a theme. Trigger. Oh, that cat. Get out of here. Girl, I have chased you out of here nine times today. Get the hint. Nine times should be the charm of cats. Close the door. Mark comes in here and he just opens the door and walks out and doesn't close the door. I'm like, he gets mad if I tell him to close it. Um, you seen the theme? Well, I don't, I haven't written down the answers, okay. so I don't so it's know. Landslide, poor boys, mama, trigger. Oh, oh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Mama Mia, Mama Mia, Mama Mia, let him go. Beelzebub. Oh. There's your name, Beelzebub. Beelzebub. I'm Beelzebub. usually good at getting the themes. Yes, very good. Thank you, Susan. When I said it out loud to you, when I was reading it, it didn't make sense. <laughs> Mama I'm Mia, just a Mama poor Mia. boy, nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy, no. Nobody okay, so is it Fandango? It is, isn't it? Uh, yes. Yes. All right, Fandango, for see. sure. Fandango. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we oh, got them yeah. all. I think we're going to get a 10 on this one. Nine. Okay. So nine is nine is Beelzebub. And the cat's name is. And the musical, which one was it? What cat? Oh, number seven. Number seven. 
Hallelujah. Is it Hallelujah and Bohemian Rhapsody? Hallelujah. No, it's not. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, I think it's hallelujah. I don't think it's hallelujah. I think it is. Beelzebub and, and the devil put aside for me, for me, for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Pa, pa, pa. hallelujah. It's hallelujah. All right, well, we'll go with hallelujah because I can't. Uh, okay now the cat's name is what cat what where, what number the last one it's time to play name that cat oh <sighs> well i think it's tom cat i think that i think the cartoon is tom cap but i think it's tom jr but i don't think there's anything tom related in in uh bohemian rhapsody I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy from a poor family. Spare him his life from this autocracy. Mama mia, mama mia. Okay, let me think of the song here. Hold on. Easy come, easy go. Easy come, easy go. Da, 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 go. Da, da, go. Scaramouche, Scaramouche. Will you Scaramouche. do the fandango? Bingo. Mama <laughs> was a bright king, very, very <laughs> king, king. <laughs> mia, mama, mia, mama. Oh, you let her go. Okay, so somewhere in there's something that's got the name of a cat that is. um. I, I know that cat was the child, was the kitten, it's a kitten. It's the kitten of a tomcat. I think the, the name of the cartoon was Tomcat, but I don't know what the kitten's. Because remember the kitten was like chasing his dad around. It's in the song somewhere. Okay, let me think. Give me another line of the song. I can't seem to start without a, how does the thing go? How does it start? Bohemian Rhapsody starts. Does it start with I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves? No, that's not it. Oh my God, I could do this if the music was playing. I'd have it down, but let me think. Um, just popping in on the song, it's hard. Um, shoot. Well, it would help if we knew the name of that cat, but. We don't know the name of that cat. Okay, my thing, Carol. So you see, he would stop me and spit in my eye. Many things in his hand that would leave me to die. Oh. Was a baby? No. Oh. What did you do? Just got to get out, just got to get right out of here. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to think of how Bohemian Rhapsody starts. Can you think of it? What's the, what's the beginning of the song? Can you I don't think the cat can you is the opening be... line. I don't think it's called a cat in Bohemian Rhapsody. I don't think the cat's a cat i think it's another word. i don't think the cat's in the opening line but it'll help me get the whole thing the song um we'll have to listen to it after this shoot dang this is bugging me mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
Shoot. This is my favorite, one of my favorite songs. I guess think of the damn thing. I give up on number 10, to be honest. I, I think I would just say Tom Jr. Or Jr. No Tom or Tom Jr. Or Tommy. Could it be Tommy? No, I think it's who? <laughs> Tommy, can you hear me? Um, so buggy, I can't think of the first opening lines to get so I can go through the whole song. It starts with music, just like da, da, da. it's like a slow song start, right? It's just a da, 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 like that song, and then it goes into the words. I think. Let me think. Yeah, I'm him. It's pissing me off now. I don't remember how it starts. I haven't listened to this song in a long time. We go to Psycon. I always play because they always have a party. And I always ask the DJ to play Bohemian Rhapsody and I get everybody up on the stage. We, we go to extreme lengths to, to dance to it in character. And it's so stupid. I mean, we really like a bunch of drunks and I'm not drinking. So it's all even more <laughs> hilarious. Um, but that's kind of the thing we do each psych on. And then there's a video too. So I've got to find it, but I can't look it up right now, obviously. Um, and it goes on forever. <laughs> The lightning, the lightning. Oh, the kitty cats mean be king. Hmm? Lightning, lightning, lightning could be lightning. I'll put lightning because that sounds like a name. It's 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 a word that's in the song for sure. Name that cat Under, lightning. The, the lightning. So so we got that. Okay, so your trip mm. looked amazing. Thank you. At least it, once a day, Mark would say, it looks like Robin's having a time of her life. Oh my God. <laughs> and Did part of the, uh, I got back on Sunday night. Did you, do you saw the recommendation I had for that book for you to read? I said, oh, I hope Robin listens to the which, way back. Which book? It's only three hours long or something. It's a murder mystery and it's an Ireland murder mystery. And it had oh. just gripped. I put it up on Facebook and I tagged you. I said, oh, she's got to <laughs> listen to this on the plane home. Called, listen, listen to it on audible the room yeah audible it's called the roommate, the roommate. i don't want to tell you anything else but it's narrated by a woman with an irish voice uh huh. it's just three like three hours and you think how can you do a murder mystery in three hours well, my experience I, with really audible is that audible doesn't work unless i'm connected to the internet so i don't think oh. i can listen to a book on audible on the airplane on the way home but you could download no what you do is you just hit download and download yeah. your phone. okay i do it all the time I before I get someplace, like if I know I'm going to be taking a flight, yeah, I download a whole bunch of download. Stuff. Well, I was really enjoying watching the movies. I watched, um, well, first of all, the, uh, I watched um, The Lost City with Sandra Bullock. What do you think? It's, it's a new movie, it's a current movie that you might see in the theater. It's hilarious, it's a comedy. And it has Brad Pitt, Channing Tatum, Daniel Radcliffe, and Sandra Bullock. They're fantastic. It's funny. It's really oh, wow. fun. I also watched the first Downton Abbey movie, which uh, grew on me. The first 15 minutes were like, eh, but it grew on me a lot. And I loved loved it after that. Are there new characters? They're like redoing it? There's a couple new characters. I didn't see any of them. One significant I've never seen character. Downton Abbey. I've seen You've Downton. never seen it? I've seen Godsford Park many times, though. I didn't want to devote myself to a TV series well, for a long time. Well, but I like that British kind of stuff. But Godsford yeah. Park was really good. But that has a murder mystery in it, too. Hmm. Nice twists. And what else do you see? Um, i trying to remember. I know there was something else, but I... Fuck, I'm tired. And Ireland? <laughs> Ireland was just so amazing. That's your first no. trip there or second? 
my second trip there, but this one was way more fun than the first one. You went with a friend, that's why. Huh? You went with a friend and you had, it was probably more relaxing. Um, I went with my sister last time. So yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. This time more relaxing. I went with my sister and all our kids last time. So it was more like a family vacation kind of a thing. But this one I went with, um, I took uh, my daughter's boyfriend's mom. Yeah. We and, uh, huh? We saw her in the pictures. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And um, so she, it was her very first trip out of the country. She got oh, her very no way. Why? She's, she, cause the, she's poor. They are poor. Oh, I didn't know that. And um, she uh, got her very first passport and got, and she was, beside herself the whole time it was really it was fun watching her have fun <laughs> i bet <laughs> and and in fact austin said at um at trivia the other night at london bridge pub i said something about your mom and he said she can't shut up about it <laughs> <laughs> well now if the trivia had anything to do with ireland yes actually one of the trivia questions was what is the northernmost county in ireland and i got that donegal Actually, we won by 10 points. Our team won by 10 no points. No way. Is it the same yep. kind of people who play all the time? Yes. Well, all how did you guys the, win? The geeks. The, we had 55, and the next closest team was 45. How'd you beat them? We had a good team. Have you ever, have you made friends with these other teams? Yeah. Yeah, we, we're kind of friendly with the people next door now. Yeah. They were always, they resisted my friendship. Trying to make friends with these people. <laughs> no, no, you were... You were hostile. <laughs> Me? I'm the yeah, sweetest you, thing in the world. You didn't you didn't like them. Well, fine. Because I tried. <laughs> I'd go in and I'd say, hi. Oh, yeah, maybe. And they'd maybe. be like. And after a while, you were like, well, fuck you then. <laughs> well, how many times do you say hi to a team that's sitting next to you for hours and they don't, won't say anything to you? Yeah. The um I think they're just nerdy and awkward. <sighs> so um when you went on this trip to Ireland, did you take, how did you pick where you were going? Was it like a, we went on a tour like and, a um, coach tour. Uh, yes. Busman's holiday. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it was a tour run by some people who own a pub in, um, Dingle, mm -hmm. which is in County Kerry out, out on the way on the West coast, out on the peninsula, Dingle peninsula. And um, so the tour was like music and pubs. It was uh -huh. geared toward music and pubs. And um, so we went to like castles and things by day and then pubs at night, usually pubs where people were playing music. So it was really I was fun. I how you, because it was like you were all over the place. I thought, wow, it she's was, done some research to know where to go. Yeah. No, I did not drive one meter in a car. It was all bus. That's not, it would just look like such a fun trip. It was gorgeous. The weather was beautiful. It only rained like the last two days, a little bit of rain. Um, we went on a, two boat trips, two different boat trips. So, you know, um, saw puffins, minky whale, um, all kinds of other seabirds, really interesting. Cliffs of Moher, Blasket Islands. And how'd you find this tour? Was it recommended to you? Or something? What do you um, the about? people the people who own the pub have played music at my house at a house concert. Mark has to come in and tell me what's going on, what's taking so long. Well, I can't close the rooms. I mean I could. Oh, I think we're are we the only ones that are in? Or Maybe I'm gonna hit close the rooms because Kevin's in charge. How come he hasn't come back? Oh, everybody's what, back. No, no, only one group's back. What do we say on the does cat is lightning? Lightning. Oh, that's so fun. But no, so I'm sorry. What did you say about how did you found the tire tour? Um, they played a house concert at my house. Oh, so you knew them. Okay. I know them actually, but I, do, I, I know them through Jackie Pierce, who's a lawyer friend, music friend. And how many were in the coach tour? Um, 18 on this one but normally it's like 30 yeah nobody got covid a couple of people did 
on the tour? Yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah, it was it was a little bit of a disaster, actually. I think eight people did. <laughs> I, pr I probably did, but I had just had it. So I had maybe a little touch of the other strain. And you said, sure. No, I said HR. <laughs> Here's their number. I it has to go through them before I can talk. <laughs> oh no, you you should have um, done it and no. said exactly what you think of her. No. Are you talking about me? No. Definitely All right, not. Kevin, you disappeared, and we were just Robin and I were just having a good old chat. Thankfully, Robin knew all the answers enough to give me the theme. And then I, it's pissing me off because I cannot remember what. Can't name that cat. We guessed. Oh. We guessed because I we we, we made an attempt to name that cat. I think there are so many pictures on in that screen. I can't imagine what the yeah, cat's name could be. Yeah, it's you're gonna pick yourself. Good. Once you know the theme, the picture gives it away. Yep. Oh. It yeah. Didn't good, help good, us. good one, Kevin. No, okay, I, the answer. I think we probably didn't get the right answer though. You're gonna kick yourself. So so here here's the shirt that that yeah show your shirt that was awesome. Oh look what I said. Oh oh yeah. that is the cat's name. Yeah. Cat is Wait a not minute, what? No, just, what is it? We'll find we'll all find out soon. Okay. The cat is from Pinocchio. I told you. No, I said cat. I said Peter Pan. Never mind. No, the I said Pinocchio. Is, it's the number 10 answer, but I'll, you have to get it. Wait so do second. we have a bonus of the theme or we just use the theme to use answer the theme the to question? get the answers? Okay. Okay, let's go. Number one, landslide. Yay. Yay. The song by Fleetwood Mac. Number two, poor boy. Number three, mama. Number four, trigger. Number five, fandango. Number six, thunderbolt. Number seven, bellissima. Bismillah, something like Bismillah. Bismillah. Yes. Like Bismillah. You're not going to count spelling on that, are you? Yeah. Nah. Number eight, this Mama is, Mia. Uh, Mama nine, Mia? Mama eight is Mama Mia. Mama Mia. Mama Mia. Mia. Mama Mia. Number fuck. nine is Belize Bob. Figaro. Oh, Figaro. 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 That's the name of the cat. Figaro Fuck. Figaro. Wait, what's the name of the cat? Figaro. 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 And those pictures, those men are Galileo. That was Galileo, awesome. Galileo, Galileo. One of the guys looks Galileo. like Leonard. Oh, so the pictures were a trick. Yes. Oh. Well, if you say Galileo, oh, they were, they Galileo, were, they were Galileo, Galileo, Figaro. Galileo. 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 Uh, is, the words are, is this the real life? Is this just fantasy caught in a landslide? Slide. No escape from reality. reality. From I'm reality. just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. He's just anyway, a poor boy. Just killed the man. Poor boys. Put a gun against his head. Pulled my trigger. Now he's yeah, dead. Now he's dead. I'm he's a little, a I see a little silhouette of a man. Scaramouche, Scaramouche. Oh, you, you do, do the, the fun do the fun dango. Thunderbolt, lightning, very very lightning, me. Very very frightening. Yes. Yes. Here, you can you can watch Susan at CSI Con. Oh, oh, did you put that up? I was gonna find the oh, video. Yeah. You guys don't think How badly of me after you watch this, okay? Uh oh. There's at least watch it after you were hit by lightning. No, this is a tradition when you go to PsyCon, and actually, because I say I tell them we have to we have to watch this. It's not coming up. <laughs> there it goes. So just keep this in mind. I've done it a couple times. There's at least two videos with two different years. And is it in the chat? Do you do a whole dance? I act out the whole thing. You you do what I do in my kitchen. You're not the Except only that one. I'm doing it publicly in front of a camera. And that's Kitty Biddle, thing. right? Yeah. yeah. She doesn't yeah. drink. And I don't drink. Do you do a fan? I will angle? join you this year. I'll be sober and ridiculous with you. Okay, that'll be fun. I almost did a bonus for this one. The bonus was going to have a triangle, a guitar, a gong, and a, a, a cowbell. What would I think be it the, has Steven Pinker in this too? What would be the the answer? Yeah. It's all yours. Have fun. It's already working. It's already working. Set it on. Turn it off. Anyway, there's another one too where I'm dressed as a disco. 
Deborah, you did we do this yourself, last Deborah. year in the 1950s outfits? I don't remember doing it in the... Deborah, mute yourself. If you're going to watch it, mute yourself. Okay, got it. I <laughs> muted her. All right, so let's go to the scores. <clears throat> font here so you guys can see it. Kevin, can you say those four things again? I'll put them in the chat. I didn't do it, but I almost did it. Okay, I want to try and figure it out. What four things? He was saying something uh, in For the conversation. the proposed bonus. Susan, I think we have seven, uh, unless we get the Thunderbolt. I can't remember what we, get we guessed eight. for. I think we have eight. We eight. Okay. Because we didn't get uh, the last one. We didn't we get Figaro, seven. but we had Thunder something. Yeah, so we've got some eight. Not Thunderstruck, <laughs> Thunderbolt. Thunder, Thunder. What do we say? Oh, we said Thunderfoot. Thunderfoot. So so I think we have seven. Yeah, you're right. Did you have the Thunder from Down Under? <laughs> That's another thing that we didn't go to. So I know we have seven for ketchup. So let's go to down here to apparently the constitution is a suicide pact nine, nine. Mm -hmm. ah, nine. and we're done with herding dogs eight. eight and nobody here but it's chickens ten Ooh. and crispy chicken wings ten <laughs> everybody oh. hates you guys damn you yeah wait go back in time stop the count Stop the account. Stop the account. Stop the account. Now we have the bonus. It's no longer it. funny. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so my, my bonus was going to be four pictures of those items. And you have to guess which one is associated with the theme. But I, I didn't do it. So that would have been it. I couldn't find pictures fast enough. that I just didn't bother doing it. So what's the answer? Which bonus. one would be the appropriate with the theme? OK. OK, bonus round, Rob. Okay, did everyone guess what mine is? Yeah, where are you? Simpsons. I think it's the Simpsons. So yeah. uh, it is Springfield. Uh, oh. So Springfield is a fictional city that serves as the setting of the Simpsons. It's an average sized city in an indeterminate state of the United States. The location of the Simpsons Springfield is a mystery of the series with various contradictory clues being found in numerous episodes. Its location is hard to pin down <laughs> partly because there are so many Springfields in the USA. In fact, there are 30 states with at least one. So name 10 US states with at least one city, town, or township named Springfield. I'm not going to take any ones which just have an unincorporated community or a neighborhood, which there are a lot of those named Springfield. And because there are 30 of them, mono rules. <laughs> yeah. I love mono rules. No. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm going to give you, because that's mean, I'm going to give you three bonus questions in the bonus round. Okay, so first let me paste in what I already said here. Okay, bonus question number one. Name the state with the oldest Springfield. All right, bonus number two is name the state with the most populous Springfield. And the final bonus in the bonus is number three. Name the state with the most Springfields. In fact, it has four. The state has four Springfields that in it? That is correct. What the heck? Okay. okay. Rob, Any Rob, questions? Can the answers to the bonus be some of the same answers? Yeah, of course. Okay. Can, can, uh, uh, can, can the answers be... In and in, in number th in the bonus three, can those be those have to be also cities or can those be like neighborhoods? He's taking no, no neighborhoods. No, we're not taking neighborhoods or it's unincorporated. Right, yeah, okay, okay. They're, they're so, cities, towns, or townships. Okay, the thing I'm asking Rob mm -hmm. is if we got all three of those bonus questions mm -hmm. that has nothing to do with the mono rules. That's correct. Okay, so we'd pick seven. You're going to fight others. it out for the first ones, and then you're going to get three just answers straight out, like we always do. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Ooh, this okay. sounds fun. Let's, okay. I love mono rooms. Good luck. Finished our rooms. Mm, let's see. I haven't done this in a while. Where is that? 
more breakout rooms open all breakout rooms there you go okay here we go it's sending me to the wrong room susan you have to send me to room four you still okay have powers oh sorry never mind i didn't change them hi team. i'm going to assume that the state hi susan with the oldest Springfield is going to be Massachusetts. That was my guess. Okay, how, who has the most? I was thinking Illinois. I and then for some reason, I was thinking Missouri is the one that has four. Why Missouri? Oh, wait, isn't that the same question? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so which one do we just answer? I have no the one idea. That has the most and the one that has four. Yes. The one that has the most, I was thinking it was Illinois. The, you mean the most population? Most population, yeah. Right. Oh, sorry. Most populous. And the four Springfields? I was thinking Missouri. Why Missouri? I believe I have heard that in the previous, but I don't know. Okay, so now we need to come up with seven more, right? That yeah. are. No, seven more because there's three bonuses. There are bonuses. Everybody there. gets those three. Everybody gets those three. If you get them right, yeah. So there now we need bonuses. seven more cities. Is there a Well, we can name 10. So 10 more states. No, we only get to name seven because we have to. No, name. I guess what he's saying is we have to name 10 states, but we get three bonuses. So let's just name 10 on the off chance. I don't know. Let's, the bonus, let's, see these are bonuses. let's see if we can come up with three. Oh, well, maybe. Okay. We'll ask him when he comes by. So let's name 10. Is there a Springfield, North Carolina? No. You sure? How about South Carolina? No. Probably. What about California? I've never heard of a California. What about Texas? Have you? Texas? I'm sure there's one in both. Texas, California. Well, he says there's 30 of them. So there probably isn't a There's one in Colorado, right? So there's only 20 states. Probably. What about Utah? Utah called Springfield, Utah? That sounds wrong. There's no New water York? there except for that. Springfield, New York? There's probably a New York. Sure, why not? Springfield, New Jersey? Sure. <laughs> Springfield, um, Rhode Island? That's a little tiny state. Yeah, probably not. Pennsylvania? Yeah, it's big. Okay. Yeah. Oh, probably Florida, right? Springfield, Florida? Sure. A lot of old people there. <laughs> What's it going to do with Springfield? Arkansas. Feels like an old name. I've never heard of a Springfield, Arkansas. Maine? Springfield, Maine. Why not? Ohio. Okay. Springfield, Ohio. There's a Springfield, Ohio. Okay. Wisconsin? Springfield, Wisconsin. Missouri. And now Missouri. Michigan, Minnesota. Springfield, Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah, they have they have some salad there, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> or Springfield, North Dakota. It's 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 cheese curds. <laughs> yeah, cheese curds. Snicker salad. Springfield. Arizona? No, I'm thinking of um <coughs> Minnesota. <laughs> Springfield, Minnesota. No, we already got Minnesota. Oh, we picked that. What about Springfield, Wyoming, or Springfield, Montana? That uh, I would I would bet against hard. those. You um, how about one of the Dakotas? Springfield, South Dakota, or Springfield, North Dakota? Sounds more like a South Dakota. South Dakota, I think, yeah. Hey. Yeah, because it's because the only <laughs> town in North Dakota is Fargo. I'm so yeah. glad I'm recording this. Yeah, I, I want to watch Fargo now. Yeah, that's my favorite Coen Brother movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Iowa, Springfield, Fargo, so good. Springfield, Nebraska. Nebraska like sounds Nebraska. good. I don't think yeah, I don't think Spring Iowa. I don't think Iowa sounds right. What about Nebraska? Oklahoma? It does sound like it would be Kentucky. there. Springfield, Oklahoma. Where the wind? Uh, Kentucky. Springfield, Kentucky. Sure. From Springfield, uh -huh. Tennessee. Sure. Kentucky. We're Springfield, up... West Virginia. West Virginia. Almost, almost heaven. Mm -hmm. We're coming up with an awful lot of states, you guys. 
Well, there's a lot. There's an awful lot of states. Yeah, I've so, got twelve so far. Okay, so how are we going to narrow this down? The most obscure ones. Yeah, I definitely think there's a Springfield, Kentucky. Sure. That sounds like horse races, quilting. You know. Okay, we'll take Kentucky. There's no. No, no, no one quilts in that part of the country, right, Susan? <laughs> of course not. Springfield, Arkansas, Springfield, Oklahoma. Paducah. Oh, it just looks like it could fit any of these states almost. Yeah, I'm going to bet against a Springfield, Nevada. Yeah. They might have hoped there'd be spring water. What about um, yeah. Louisiana? Louisiana, not Louisiana. Louisiana. No, Louisiana. Louisiana. Louisiana is how they say it. Yep, Louisiana. <laughs> Louisiana. Louisiana. That's where my grandma is now. Georgia. Lafayette. Springfield, Georgia. Georgia, yeah. Probably. <laughs> it's probably one in Georgia. Springfield, Georgia. I'm from Springfield, Georgia. That don't sound <laughs> southern at all. How would we how are we gonna choose you guys? Come on, pick. Texas. Springfield, Texas. It sounds like that's where they should have a supermax prison. Um, well, that should be. Let's take out California. State. Yeah. That's where Josh Duggar is, Springfield, Texas. Let's ask Rob. Here he comes. Robert. Rob, we have a question. Yes. We have a question. Yes. So are we supposed to be picking 10 states models? Yes. yes. And what about and, the three others? And, and plus. Three for the bonus. Yeah, the three of those are just standard questions. Yes. So we just oh, thirteen. Answer. So we have thirteen answers. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. that's okay. our question. And as someone asked before, clearly any or all three of the bonus ones could also be in the ten you pick. Right. Rules. Right. Yeah. We're so that's the strategy. Do we pick the ones that we know that mm -hmm. the answers are? Because they're coming. knowing that other people will probably think the same thing we're doing. That's a strategy question that Rob is not going to answer. I think we shouldn't pick him because I that's a strategic question. It seems like it'll backfire. Somebody else is going to say, ah, we should pick these other three. But no, we shouldn't pick these other three because somebody else will have thought the same thing. But maybe they won't. And that's <laughs> the thing. So it's no one, the princess. Bride no one's thing. ever thought of this before. Except every time I play mono roles. Inconceivable. Um, I don't think that word means what you think. Means you think it means. <laughs> my name is Inigo Montoya. Good you feel my father prepare to Do die. I. All right. So we're putting, all right. So Kentucky, we're choosing our 10 now, right? Okay. Yeah. Kentucky. Texas. Mm hmm. New Jersey. Mm hmm. Florida? Sure. Ohio? Idaho. 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 Springfield, Idaho. I would put Springfield, Idaho over Springfield, Florida. Okay, so getting rid of Florida and we're going to put Idaho. No, Utaho. <laughs> okay, so, so, all right, so we've got four. Oh, God. So do we want uh, Minnesota? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, how about Mich um, Nebraska? Springfield, Nebraska. I don't think anybody would think of that. Ah, yeah, I like that. Nebraska, Springfield. And Ohio? Yes. No, Georgia. No. It's too common. It's too easy. Georgia. Two, three, four, Georgia. five, six, seven. Okay, I'm at seven. We need three more. Colorado, yeah. New York. Six. What's the other one? Hold on. I got Texas, New Jersey. Oh, we're doing Idaho. Oh, the question is, yeah. Um, okay, do, do we have the... the the state with that has four Missouri Missouri it's Missouri that's what I'm thinking it's Missouri Virginia how about West Virginia Virginia Springfield West Virginia uh, we can do Springfield West Virginia okay, is that West closer Virginia. is that closer to heaven <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gotta hurry up! Come on, you guys. Two more. Two, three, so, what four, about five, Colorado? Six, seven. We I'm at seven. Colorado. We have Colorado, right? Okay. Eight. Okay. West Virginia, Texas, Colorado, New Jersey, Idaho, Ohio, Minnesota, Kentucky, Nebraska. Do we want Utah, New York, Pennsylvania, Maine, or South Dakota? 
or anything else in in uh, you know Vermont or New Hampshire or okay but we've only got you New Hampshire yeah New Hampshire New Hampshire okay and then we need one more Georgia Georgia Springfield no I've got West Virginia Texas Colorado New Jersey Idaho Ohio Minnesota Kentucky Nebraska and New Hampshire makes 10. okay can you read them off again real quick? West Virginia, Texas, Colorado, Jersey, Ohio, Minnesota, Kentucky, Nebraska. Yeah, my suggestion, my suggestion for anyone on the team who's gonna read this is, is put them in alphabetical order. What? It'll go a little quicker. Oh, oh by yeah, the way, Deborah and my team, uh, the Volkswagen size fly is no more. Ah, you killed it. Faith, Faith, you're going to read them off, right? And what George, 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 did you George, George, did it leave or did you squish it? George, 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 George. It wasn't endangered. Where's George? A fly. Your dog. Where's George? Hi, oh, George. 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 Just Look at his ears. Snap. What are you George. doing out there? Did you go pee on um, Pebble Beach like a good boy? <laughs> Okay, everybody who's got a team that is going, one person on the team is going to be reading their thing. We'll start with the team with the lowest score, which is going to be the team I'm on. <laughs> Apparently, the Constitution is a suicide pact, so so Faith is quickly trying to put everything in uh, alphabetical order, and every and what she'll do is she'll read them off. Or do you want to do the the three that are. The bonus. I can read them first. off. I've got them in alphabetical. Okay, Rob, what do you want to do? Yeah, let's do the bonus first, so you guys okay. know your starting point. So everybody, these are questions that you either get right or you get wrong. That's so go right, ahead, Rob. You're gonna get either one, two, or three points here, and of course, the max total, as usual, is still ten. Um, so the state with the oldest Springfield, I, I heard at least two teams get this, is Massachusetts. Yay! Hey. From 1636. Wow. Wow. Uh, the state with the most populous Springfield is not the capital of Illinois. It is Missouri. Oh, uh, damn. Yeah, Illinois has 100K and Missouri has got five times that. Uh, and the state that has the honor of the most Springfields is Wisconsin. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Got one. Okay, so that is a point that you guys will get above and beyond. Yeah. One, one to three points, right? Yes. Yeah, but remember max points is 10. For this yep. Okay, so, so Faith, what do you got? Colorado. Colorado is yes. Anyone else, Colorado? Yay. I Idaho. Idaho is yes. We had it. Somebody else had it. Okay. Kentucky. Kentucky is a yes. We have it. Okay. Minnesota. Minnesota, yes. Yep. We had it. Nebraska. Nebraska, yes. No one else? Okay. New Hampshire? Yes. Yeah. Who anybody have it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. We have it. New Jersey. Yes, two townships right by me. And we have that New Jersey. Okay. Yeah. Ohio. We yes. have Ohio. Ohio. Texas. Texas yeah. has two. We, we have it. Texas. We have Texas. Okay. And West Virginia. Yes, West Virginia. Anybody else? Nope. Got a point. We, we got some. Okay, but well that's four, because that's three for us. Uh -huh. And then and then uh, the bonus, so, so that team is getting four. Okay. Next team up is a tie. So let's do catch up. Okay, we got Alabama. Alabama does not have a Springfield. Wrong. Uh, wrong. Alabama. Alabama, Springfield, Alabama. Sounds good. California. Yes. Oh. We have we, it. We had California. Florida. <laughs> Florida has a Springfield. We, we had Florida also. Georgia. Yes, also. Yay, we got a point. 
<laughs> Massachusetts. Of course. Yeah. Anybody have else that. have it? Yeah. Okay. We had it. Missouri. Yes, of course. That was Anybody one of the answers for the bonus. Yep. They had it? Yep. And New York. New York, yes. We had New York. We had, we had New York. Okay, so we got two points. Okay. One bonus in Georgia. Okay, so we're done with herding dogs. So we have Oregon. Oregon is a yes. We have that. Um, I can't, I've lost track. Ohio? Someone said that already. Yeah, we yeah. said Ohio. Okay. Did we say Indiana? No. Uh, that, that's a yes. I don't think anyone's in Indiana. There are two of them. Um, somebody said Illinois oh. yet? Illinois yeah. it is the capital of Illinois. If we, we had Illinois. We have Illinois. That. Okay, we got Massachusetts, Washington. No, we didn't play Washington. Sorry, Maine. Oh, Maine. we have Maine. We have Maine. Maine. <laughs> yep, Maine. Yep, Maine's correct. But it's we have Vermont. Vermont is a yes. Anybody? No. Anybody? Okay. Anybody? No. Yay. I'm echoing somehow. Um, and we have Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, yes. Did did we not have uh, Oklahoma in there? Did we did we not? Uh, put I didn't end up with it. Um, Janine, Oklahoma, did you? Oklahoma yourself? does not have one anyway. Oh, All right, okay. What was Pennsylvania? Anybody else have Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania? That's a point. Oh. Okay. So we're done with herding dogs. How many points did you get? Four. Four. Very good. Lucky. Okay. Nobody we're here. not last. We're, we're not, not last. last. Okay. <laughs> Nobody here but us chickens. Um, I think the only one that we have left is Washington, which someone almost put but didn't. No. There is no Springfield, Washington. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> How about Washington? <laughs> Add an R or two. Not that either. Did Washington, D.C. have one? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm asking a serious question. Is there a Springfield, Washington, D.C.? Washington, D.C. Washington, D. is, the, is a city. city. It does not have a city inside of it. Well, I thought maybe they would say, he said it had a, oh, okay, never mind, you're right. Is there one on Guam? All right, just cancel it. It's, picky, picky. I wasn't thinking. So that's how many points for you guys? Uh, well, since all of our states were eliminated, we got a whopping one point. Plus and did you get the bonuses? That's you got the, the bonuses. What? You got one. You get one from the bonuses, yeah. right? Yeah, Can you one. make them say it another few times? <laughs> right. How many points did you get in total? One. Okay, got it. Okay. Just check it. I don't want to cheat anybody out. Okay. Chris, you chicken. But we had. And show us the scoreboard. Okay. Wait, we haven't yeah. gone. We haven't gone. Yeah, go ahead. Um, <laughs> all we have left is Arkansas, right, Deborah? Yep. Or Kansas. And that, and that is correct. There is a Springfield <gasps> Arkansas. Okay. Okay. And we got a point. So we got four, four. altogether. Mm. Wow, you got all the bonuses. Yeah. <laughs> you only get one point, right? Nope, we get all of them. I'm trying to enlarge the. Um, you get the bonus. You, the, your bonus is not in jeopardy. Yeah. We went, we went with the wrong of the Springfield and. And there it Illinois is. And Missouri. Hey, 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 we hey. still won. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take second place. So Ooh, we, we were last, but what? not on our own last. Yay. <laughs> I think we also got the most states correct that nobody else took, too. Oh, how many? What was the breakup? We got one bonus and three states. Oh, OK, most cool. States. Thanks a lot, team. That was very cool. Oh, good night. Uh, by the way, I have nobody playing next week. Got to so, go. Um, good night, good night, guys. Good night, I gotta, Alan. I gotta Are you volunteering to do a category oh, yeah. next week, Alan? Uh, Everybody's to, running I, away. Okay. I will. I'm personally <laughs> pass it Karen, next week. What? I, I, need, I, I need people for next week. Karen? Okay, no. I'll do one. Carl? Who else? I have. I'll do one. Robin? I can go again if you want. I got another one. 
Good night, everybody. Vincent, are you in? Are you going to do a category next week? No, I can't. Okay. So next, next, month, next month, I will. Okay, I need another one and a bonus. What's the significance of the Shakespearean portraits around the lightning kitty cat or whatever? Galileo. 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 Figaro. 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 Okay. Got I need it. a bonus and another category. I can do another category next week if you want. Let me ask Cass if he wanted to do one. Let me see. I'm going to go because okay, I'm falling bye. asleep and I got to take my dogs out. Welcome bye. home. Good night, Welcome. Robin. Thank you. Good night, Good night. Good night. Bye, Peggy. Sleep tight. Kevin, your categories are really good. It's that it's just trying to mix it up in different weeks, right? Yeah, I got a different one next week. Oh, I know, but Susan's going to ask <laughs> Caspian. Oh, no, I understand. I shouldn't do it every week, every other week. Okay, so um, Jamie's already gone. Nope. Dale usually has oh, I, I, I can do a bonus. How about I'll do the bonus next week? Okay. All right. So if Caspian says no, I will put Kevin in unless there's another. I'll be the backup. How's that? Okay. I'll do the I'll bonus. I'll put Caspian or, or. And I'll let you know, Kevin, if that. If... Oh, Susan, you haven't done one in a while. <laughs> I, used to, I have to do them all. I can't, I can't do one. All or nothing, Susan. Because I have, and I am doing skeptical, so that will be the July sixteenth. It's a, it's a Thursday, it's a Saturday night. Saturday. So I will, I will make sure I strong arm you all. Wait, what do you mean? You're and doing it's trivia. Skeptic related. You mean you're doing trivia there? Uh -huh. Yeah. I don't yes, consider this those canonical. Sorry. <laughs> those are non-canonical. I do. It's going to be game number one. Do those, do those have an asterisk in the listing of, of trivias? Mm -hmm. It depends on who's listing. Yeah. So they're like agents of shield. They don't count. Right. So, too. so, so Carl, I got both the Orville and uh, Star Trek uh, Strange New Worlds uh, on deck. What, which one do I watch first? Oh, that's well, I haven't watched Orville yet Ooh. this season. That's a tough question. Oh, you haven't watched any this season? Is no. the new Orville out? Yep. Oh yeah, we're already up to episode five. Oh great! Yeah, this is the one where it switched to Hulu. So yeah. you have Hulu. Hulu, Leonard. Yeah, I got Hulu. Okay, it's 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 different because apparently, uh, I, I saw an interview this... with one of the actors that it was Fox. It was really pushing for the overabundance of humor in the Orville. Right. So now that it's on Hulu, it's much more star trek and less slapstick comedy but but, they, right. they, but over the first season they toned it down like they pretty did. much every month it yeah. got less and less okay yeah. i'm gonna end the recording